of the Bible because because you think that you you, you think us uh, black Americans are black right you, you, you think that we just black uh, like us like I'm the Negroes you think that you think that we're just black right but we're actually the Israelites of the Bible we're actually God we're actually God's chosen people I think about, I don't know exactly I was like you think you said what? I don't know exactly, but I think sometimes when it's black, that means it's from the heart, the lung. There's too much heat, and the skin is going like that. Like the white is going for the nut, like it's cold, uh -huh. too much snow. I oh, don't know if that's oh, true or not. Okay but, okay, but the people the people that comes in your store every day, what do you, who do you think that they descend from? Do you think that we're African? No? Right, you think that we're American, right? But no, our true nationality, I'm the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. We're the true Israelites, according to the Bible. We're the real Jews. Like the Jewish people, they the fake Jews. Yeah, we're the real Jews, so the Bible. You want to make something here? YouTube. We're on YouTube, yep. Good. All right. You want some drink? Some drink? Uh, some, uh, some water. Some water. Some water? Yeah, yeah. Bottles of water if you could. Thank you. See that? It's five or six and seven, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 is that Jeremiah 15 11? Yeah, Jeremiah 15 11. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. God, that's right. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and of the Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who's a so called black man. I want to say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, brother, them to all the Akim that is pushing this truth and sincerity, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, brother, them. To all the elders out there who labor in the truth and taught us the truth. Alright, we are the Hebrew Israelites coming out to you week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to preach repentance to you so called blacks, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians, letting you know who you are according to the Bible. That that that, that we're God's chosen people. And that America's about to be um, destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, man. And we see it, it's it's pro it's, it's, it's real imminent right now. Alright? Thank you. All right. Man, I it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I right, appreciate it. Hey, get Proverbs sixteen and seven. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. You know, you know, guy had this. Uh, uh, who we who we who we perceive as a heathen? You know, he's from Af uh, Afghanistan. Uh -huh. Af yeah, uh, he's from Af uh, Afghanistan. And you know, we was just dialoguing with them a little bit. And guess what? You know, he gave us a uh, he gave us two bottles of water. Right, right, now right. we were just talking to him. You know, right, just right. you know, you know, just simply dialoguing, telling him that we're the true Israelites in the Bible and different things like that. And he just looked at us. He was like, damn. Y'all two want uh uh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh you want you want some water? I said, oh yeah, you know, you know, if you could, you know, and, and that's the spirit, man. Hey, that's the Lord. Yeah, exactly. That's the Lord. Go ahead, uh, bro. Proverbs chapter sixteen, verse seven. Yep. When a man's ways please the Lord. That's right. When a man's way please the Lord, and we're pleasing the heavenly Father. How are we pleasing the heavenly Father by making our bodies a living sacrifice. Right. Coming out here to the highways and byways, and we're uptown, by the way, West of Blaine, Philadelphia, we're right on Stanton, right on Stanton, Old Guns area. If anybody's uh. Looking for us right across the street from Mount Airy, Church of God in Christ, right out here preaching the word. So we're so we're pleasing the Heavenly Father because we're doing this with a sincere heart. You know, bro, you're gonna add to. Uh -huh. Go ahead, go, go, go ahead, uh -huh. go ahead. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. You see that? He makes his enemies to be at peace uh -huh. uh, with him. Uh -huh. See that? Uh -huh. And our and, and our enemy because you know, if that guy's not an Israelite, he's our enemy. Uh -huh. Because if you're outside of the nation of Israel. You're our enemy. You're a heathen, and you're going into slavery. Uh -huh. And he, and he uh, treated us well. Uh -huh. He gave us two bottles of water. And you know what's so funny? I left the house. I got a smoothie. Right. I was like, damn, I want some water cold. too. And it's cold too. Yeah, and it's cold too. It's, it's a cold bottle of water. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. Con, yeah, bring it up, bro. Con, Jeremiah breaks down too. Con, Jeremiah 15 and 11. The Lord said, Verily, it should be well with thy remnant. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in time of evil and in time of affliction. Right. And so, like, like, bro, preset. Where he brought out, you know, when a man's ways please the heavenly father, right? Even his enemies shall be at peace with him. That's a foreshadow of what's to come. Right. You know, even in Jacob's trouble, the Lord might put a, a, a spirit on one of these heathens that, that, that have, you know, some type of compassion and do and do good into us. Then be sneaking some food, sneaking some water, right? I remember you guys. You were talking about you were the real, the real Israelites, the real Jews. 
I like you not like the regular uh, uh, so-called black and Hispanic. Here, take some food, man. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Right, exactly, bro. Exactly, bro. And then it says these are treating you well in the time of evil. Really? Right. Well, we actually are in the time right. of evil right, right now. Right. Because all evil, when you break down the word evil, evil means bad times. Con. And America is in, is, is in real bad times. Right. Right now, you see you see all, all the um, the gas prices is rising up. Right? The food, food prices. You know, America is in inflation right now. Con. And on top of that, you go you go check out go check out the west coast man everything is on fire over there literally everything is on fire over there in california or oregon as well right wild wildfires are spreading out everywhere um on the on the uh, delta variant that's running rampant around oh yeah you got this new super bug fungus uh it, st it started to spread in um in texas and also in uh washington not not washington dc yeah yeah uh, dc yeah uh, in dc too yeah, so the Lord is striking this place, this place with, with plagues. And like I said, we're out here to preach to teach our people that they're the true Israelites, man. According according to the Bible. And today's Sunday, of course, so you know that our people are in the church right now. Hey, brother, can you give me uh, Jeremiah seven and verse? And start a verse. Start verse one. God. Jeremiah chapter seven, verse one. Bad. The word. So like the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, stand in the gate of the Lord's house mm -hmm. and proclaim there this word. And, and, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're standing in the gate of the Lord's house, right. which who's the Lord's house? You so called blacks, Latinos, Native Muslim Indians, right. you Israelites. Well, it can be applied to you. Right. Well, because really, you know, you know, the gate of the Lord's house dealing with the temple that King uh, Solomon made. But this but the temple has been destroyed. Now, we are the temple of the Heavenly Father. And if I hold that, get Hebrews uh, 3 and 6. You know, our temple got destroyed in 78 days, but now we but now we are the spiritual temple. Mm -hmm. God, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 6. Yep. But Hamashiach as a son over his own house. Yes, yeah, son over his own house, go ahead. Whose house are we? See that? Whose house are we? Go ahead. If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Right, and it's a confidence, bro. Mm -hmm. Confidence. You got to be confident in this thing. Right. Right. You can't be all, oh, I don't know the Lord is with me because that's how guys want you to be, man. Right. Guys want you to be, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know trembling and whatnot. I don't know the Lord doing with me. No, man. You're supposed to be confident in this thing. Right. You're supposed to be mighty. Doesn't it say, look, look, hey, Jake, hey, Jake, you see, look, hey, Jake pull precepts out and don't even know what it means. Right. Because you pull that Proverbs 28 1, the wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous is bored. That's a lie. Well, it tells you that the righteous are going to stand in great boldness. And that's in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. So you see, so you're actually supposed to be bold in this faith. That wisdom, that wisdom lets you be bold. Matter of fact, get that. He's asked, he's eight and one. That wisdom actually causes you to be bold. Not to be some weak-ass, uh, punk-ass nigga, man. Yeah. This is the second verse of the 14th chapter. It says what? Put off now the weak nature. Right. Go ahead, bro. Ecclesiastes chapter eight, verse one. Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? Yep. A man's wisdom make of his face to shine, uh -huh. and the boldness of his face shall be changed. See that? And the boldness That's of his fair. face shall be changed, bro. Fair, bro. See? Yeah, it says it right there, bro. The boldness of his face shall be changed. Right. So now we need, so now we're not just walking around simple, don't know what's going on. We're actually, we actually talk with great boldness. We walk with boldness. Hey, like this song of uh, this Benjamite, Buju, uh, Buju Bantan had made, it's called Champion. Walk like a champion, talk like a champion, act like a champion. That's the mindset that we're supposed to be in. Supposed to be in a championship, uh, a champion uh, uh, like mindset, man. All right. Anyway, uh, you can go back to uh, Jeremiah 7. Uh, Jeremiah 7. What's going on, sis? Heard about the Israelites before? Are you good? All right, go ahead, bro. Come on, Jeremiah 7 and what? That's, you, you, you start the top again. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 7 and 1. Yep. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house yep. and proclaim there this word and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all ye of Judah. That's right, hear ye the word of the Lord, all ye Judah, because predominantly that's really that's really who, who we be teaching to. You know, the, the head tribe Judah, which are you so called African Americans, you so called Jamaicans, you Haitians. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. Go ahead. All ye of Judah uh -huh. that enter in. At the gate to worship the Lord. Go ahead. Verse 3. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, yep. the God of Israel. Uh, the God of Israel. See that? The, 
See that? So God is the God of Israel. So why the hell Mount Airy Church of God in Christ right. have a damn? And I, and I actually used to go to this church. You know, for, you know, I actually went to this church. So why the hell is Mount Airy Church of God in Christ have a whole multi-ethnic uh, uh, church? Right. That church, the church is only is only Israel. Let me go ahead and get that in, in the book of Acts. The church is only Israel, man. The church is not the church is not everybody. Right. Because the Lord wasn't dealing with everybody. Right. The Lord was only uh, dealing with a select few people. This actually in one. And Saul was consenting until his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And who was and who was living in uh, Jerusalem? Who was predominantly in Jerusalem living at the time? Who does Jerusalem belong to? The Israelites. All right. Let me go ahead and get that in Book of Judges, because we actually took Jerusalem from the Canaanites. This is the book of Judges, chapter 1 and 8. It says, Now the children of Judah have fought against Jerusalem and had taken it and smitten it with the edge of the sword and set the city on fire. So you see that? So we went up against Jerusalem, with Jerusalem going to the Hebrew word, Jerusalem, which means what? City of peace. So we so we actually took Jerusalem from the uh, Amorites and we and we were occupying that land. So to let you know that the church in Acts 8 and 1 I was at Jerusalem, I was dealing with the Israelites. Period, point blank. You ain't had no Edomites up in there with their head wrapped, uh, with, with the damn head covered. Esau or, or damn Ammon up there, reading the Isaiah scroll. Man, you get, man, you get the shit slapped out of you, man. As a matter of fact, it tells, <laughs> it tells you in numbers that what yeah, uh, yeah, uh, a, a stranger shall be put to death. Right. That's what my man, uh, what was his name? I forgot the boy that he did it. He, Phineas. He hit him with a javelin, yeah, right? Phineas, yeah, yeah, Phineas, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Phineas did that. Oh, yeah, and also, and Maccabees. Yeah. Uh, um, the, uh, Judas, Judas Maccabeus, was that dynasty was called the Hasmonean dynasty. He actually went up in there, saw saw saw, saw wicked-ass Israelites, and also the heathens polluted our sanctuary, right. and he went up in there and killed them all, man. Yeah. Especially the heathens. Right, but actually, and one again, and Saul was consenting to his death, and at the time, there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. So, what's going on, bro? Heard about the Israelites before? Oh, yeah? Where tribe you from, bro? Come here. Where tribe you from? Come here, bro. Oh, are you coming right back? Yeah, I just got to take this thing. I bet. Deep line. <laughs> well, yeah, and then it says that they were all scattered abroad. And who else were scattered abroad, bro? Uh, uh, hold that, get James 1 and 1. Uh, right. Yep. Like this. Oh, mm -hmm. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. Bad. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greeting right to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad so those so those were the nations that were scattered abroad the 12 tribes that's why when you read the book of first peter go ahead and get it first peter chapter 1 and verse 1 it says peter an apostle of yahweh shai hamashiach to the strangers scattered through our punches galatia cappadocia asia and by Phineas. and then when you, you preach up there with acts 2 and 5 all the way down like to verse 8 and 9 it tells you that there were jews there were jews uh out of every nation under heaven and then it started naming where uh where they were from they said elamites cappadocia asia so on and so forth because the Israelites are the ones that were scattered through the four corners of the earth man point, period point blank that's it bro yeah you go back to that jeremiah or you got any precepts or anything oh, no. All right. Yeah, but we're going to uh, come, up, come up with the point of Jeremiah 7. That one that we're going to. Go ahead. God, Jeremiah 7, verse 3. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Right, amend your, amend your ways and your doings, man. Stop sinning. Come back come back to the Heavenly Father. You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians. You got to come back to the Heavenly Father. Stop going to church on Sunday. Stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Stop committing adultery. Amend your ways. Matter of fact, let's go into the word for uh, amend, bro. We're going to the word for amends. Right? 
Cause that's cause cause that's all we have to do, bro. But you know, Jake is real uh hard headed. So you go into the work for a man, it means uh make minor changes. But Jake, man, you gotta make major changes. Yeah, we're right. We're right. <laughs> Our people, you gotta make major changes, man, because you device iniquity every single day. Right. Every single day. Well, as soon as Jake wake up, so as soon as Jake wake, they don't even brush their damn teeth. Wake and bake. Wake and bake. What what did them have eaten McDonald's B B O T? It's a lot. Some Jake they uh they roll a one up at night for the next morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, that's yeah. what they do, bro. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. <laughs> have like five L's right there. Rolled on, up. On, oh yeah, rolled up. As soon as they wake up, ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, what's going on, brother? Good. Heard about the Israelites? The what? I'm 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 the uh, I'm the Israelites. Yes. Have you heard about the Israelites? Oh, oh, you going to church, Mount Airy? Okay, all right. Church service is over now? Oh, all right, all right. Let us hear some of good word. Yeah, we're right. Hey, come back, brother, so, you, so, so that you can hear some more word. It's good word, the real word. <laughs> yeah, but now uh, go, go to verse 4 now. Watch this. God. Verse 4, Jeremiah 7, verse 4. Trust ye. Not in lying words. Yeah, trust you, not in lying words. And that's Son. what that's what goes on in the Christian church. Son. Lying words. Talking about some soul seed. And you're going to reap a hundredfold. Uh, God love everybody. God doesn't love everybody, bro. Matter of fact, we was reading it in uh, Chronicles. And David smit, smited all these different nations uh, uh, and put them into slavery. Right. Shit, where's the love Where's the love of God then? <laughs> what? God, hey, look. God. Hey, look. So you tell me, so from the time of David to uh, Hamashiach, that had to be at least like eight, like at least like eight, plus, because from Ezra, or right, from Ezra to Hamashiach was about like four hundred something years. So from David, damn, that had, bro, bro, that's that's at least like another four, four to three hundred. So 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 let's say, so you tell me about 800, 800 years later. That's when God decided to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to just love everybody right, now. Right, right. Like, huh? On, How does that make sense? I changed not. Yeah, exactly. And that's like uh, and that's like uh, the so-called white man. 500 years later, okay, let me just uh, love these niggers now. Right. Like, huh? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense, bro. Right. Keep going. Yeah, yeah uh, I'll read it again. Trust ye not in lying words. Gone. Verse 4. Trust ye not in lying words. Yeah, trust ye not in lying words. And that's what the, the church teaches you. Lying words, right? And, and my people love to have it so. Pursuing in Jeremiah 5 and 31. Go ahead. The temple of the Lord. Yeah, the temple of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, uh, it's this church song, but uh, uh, the spirit of the Lord, Lord is, is here. here. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, and we know, and we all know that the spirit, the spirit of the Heavenly Father was indeed in the temple that was actually made, right? Go ahead. Come. The temple of the Lord. The temple of the Lord are these. Yeah, that's right. And these churches are not the temple of the Heavenly Father. That's right. These are actually groves, man. Right. These are harlot houses, uh, abominable houses. Because in the church, man, it's nothing but sluts in the church, man. Right. Trust me, I know, man. I was dealing, I was dealing with this one uh, uh, girl from church. I, I actually called her church girl. That was my nickname for her, church girl. Because I honestly thought, you know, she was, mm -hmm. you know, a church, yeah. Yeah, a church girl. But man, when I got her, man, psh, hey, hey, man, man, she was wild, bro. Word. Understand? That's how they be. Yeah, bro, that's how they be, bro. Like really, like the like the woman that the woman that be tied down in the church, like they really be the freaks and the hoes, man. And, and and that's the fact. I went to Catholic school all my life, and all and all of them were sluts, man. Majority of them were sluts. About nine, about ninety eight percent of them. And and, and that's just a fact. But read really, again, I done. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 4. Yep. Trust ye not in lying words, yep. saying the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. That's right. And they say that all, all God, God them day long, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. But those are not the temple of the Lord. And all these churches are going to be destroyed. That's right. Because these churches doesn't really lead you to true repentance. They dip you inside some water and, 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 and wise you back up. Right. And they think that you're clean. No, man, you're still dirty. Right. Cause right after you get baptized, well, hey, what you about to do? You about to go celebrate eating damn ham, pork, uh, you know, you know, pork, which ham is pork, you no know, shrimp and lobster. About to smoke a cigarette. Matter of fact, you see it all the time. 
on these Catholic priests in the movies, right. they always smoking a damn cigarette. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that yeah. crazy. And the white ones, right? Yeah. With the little collar. I see that all the time. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. They always smoking a cigarette. Hey, which, hey, which, man, the Catholic Church is looking real bad right now, right? Because uh, I believe, I believe it was in France, right? Right. I believe it was in France, and um, and um, and it was these two nuns, right? Mm. There were lesbian nuns having sex. But I thought nuns ain't, I thought nuns ain't, uh, ain't supposed to be having sex. Right. They're supposed to be, um, uh, um, celibate or something. Yeah, yeah, celibate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're, 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 they're supposed to be Protestant celibacy. Right. But here you are, they're lesbians, number one. Hypocrites. They're lesbians, number one. And number two, they're damn having sex. Right. So how does that work, bro? Yeah. That, man, man, that doesn't even work. Exactly. That's hypocrites. That's a whole contradiction. Cause really like that lifestyle, which I know we know what lifestyle they're trying to follow. They're trying to follow uh, on that Paul, that Paul lifestyle. But really, truly, man, here in America, that's that's a that's a hard that's a hard thing to do. Being a a, a, a eunuch over here in America, because man, there's sex all around you, man. And how these women dress nowadays, that you know, you know, you know, you already, you already know how that is. That that makes the men have that have that feeling, have that urge. You know, you know, and that gets you on. So you gonna wanna pop some. America is not that place to be a eunuch, man. Right. It's, it's really not. It's really not. But anyway, uh, go ahead, bro. Keep going. Verse five. Jeremiah seven and five. For if ye thoroughly amend your way. Right. So if you thoroughly. So when we read the definition of amend, it said to make minor changes. But the heavenly father said, if you thoroughly. So you gotta thoroughly amend your ways. Thoroughly change your ways, Jake. Our people, you gotta change your way. So-called blacks, Latinos, Native, and some Indians. You gotta stop sinning. You gotta stop doing what you're doing because really, sin is the uh, sin is the beginning of pride, and and pride is hateful before God and men. Let me go ahead and get a uh, Sirach on the tenth chapter. This is the book of Sirach, chapter ten, and verse twelve. It says, "The beginning of pride is one depart departed from the Most High." And his heart is turned away from his maker. Yeah, and your heart is turned away from your maker. Verse 13. For pride is the beginning of sin. And he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. So so pride is the beginning of sin. As pride is when uh you, when you depart from your maker. And when you, and when do you depart from your maker? It's when you start sinning. So you, so you sinning is being prideful, cause that's you telling heavy father, like, oh look, I don't need you, I, I, I ain't gotta follow your rules and regulations. I'm gonna go ahead and do my own thing. No, no, you can't do that, cause ultimately, what our people, you vow to vow unto the heavenly father, you vow to vow to obey his laws, statutes, statutes and commandments, and you, and you, and you vowed that a few times. Let me go ahead and get that, like Exodus, um, let's see. Exodus 24 and verse, we start with six. It says, and Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, all that Yahweh have said we will do and be obedient. Right. So that's, so there, so there it go. You vowed to the heavenly father right there. And, and guess what? And, and what's and, and what's the ceiling of a covenant or a vow? Blood. So watch this, verse eight. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people. Hey, look, you had guys like Volcam Malone have a problem with uh, so-called witchcraft voodoo. Well, what is this? Right, right. Taking animals' blood and sprinkling it on people? Yeah, that sounds like voodoo. Exactly, bro. What's, what's going on, bro? Carpenter? You, you carpenter? Oh, man, I'm a roofer. Oh, you're a roofer? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's smooth, that's smooth. How about yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, matter, matter of fact, I'm, 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 my first day at work is tomorrow. Okay, yeah, what do you do? Uh, I'm, about, I'm about to be in the um, carpentry field. Okay. Yeah, I went to Orleans Tech. You heard of that school, Orleans Tech? That's not up in Northeast. Okay. Yeah. That's up there in the, uh, Decatur Road? Decatur Road, yeah, 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 right okay. up there, right yeah, up there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Heard about the Israelites before? Of course. Yeah, you heard about the Israelites? I mean, who has it, you know? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> yeah, man. I, so, like, how you feel about the teachings? Like, how you feel about it? It depends on 
in the Bible you had different sects, right? Right. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, right? Right. They were both Israel. Right. But they both had different teachings. Right, right, right. So, uh, hey, Shalom, bro. What's good, bro? And then he was with the watchman. Word. Kind. So, it depends. Uh, so, every sect has different teachings. Right, right, right. Okay. And so, that's where, that's where you, you kind of base the perimeter off of different teachings. You know? You're an Israelite? I don't believe so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably from maybe, maybe Judah. Well, can we really dictate which trial we tell? I mean, I'm, I yeah. mean, to the spirit, to the spirit, to the spirit of the Lord, yeah. I, 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 I believe out. so. I, I believe I just, so. Uh, now, in, in a sense, how, how can you? Right, so what we do is, you know, ultimately, ultimately it's based uh, on the spirit, but you no, know, uh, when you when you when you when you read through Genesis 49 okay. and uh, Deuteronomy Deuteronomy the uh, 33rd chapter, okay. it actually it actually gives you a, a description of, of how of how the tribes. And what yeah. Jacob said to his children. Right, right, right. Exactly. For for for, uh, for example, uh, when you read Genesis 49 and 5, it talks about Simeon and Levi. Now, now we believe Simeon is so called. The Dominicans today and Levi are the so-called Haitians. Well, why would you say that? Now, now in the scriptures, when we read it, it says Genesis 49 and 5, it says Simeon and Levi are brethren. But the crazy thing is, all, all, all of the 12 tribes are brothers. So why is it just singling out Simeon and Levi being brothers? Well, maybe because of what they did and uh, what's the name? Right, right. What they did, but see, the thing is, and when you read up in verse 1, it says that Jacob called into his sons and said, gather yourselves together that I, may, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So this is actually talking about the last days, which, which we're in the last days right now, right? How long have we been in the last days? We've been in the last days since uh, Christ died. All right. Right. <laughs> but, but the thing is, uh -huh. but the thing is when uh, Christ was around, Simeon um, of the northern kingdom wasn't around then. Because remember, they were taken off into uh, Assyria and slavery. And then from Assyria, they actually came over here to um, America. They said a land that never was. Uh, uh was was, was doing. Hey, he know. I mean, he watched the video. Yeah, you watched the video. <laughs> you watch, I mean, I you don't know have it. to watch. Never you know it. You know it. Okay? But I don't have to watch videos. Right, right. Because the same book you got, I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. But I'm, but I'm sure. I'm, but I'm sure you just ain't opened the book and you know a light just came down. I'm, I'm sure I mean, you. I, I'm sure you. I'm sure you came across the videos though. I'm sure. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I mean, I, I rarely watch television. Okay, I understand. But however, uh, in, in a sense, I do understand what you're saying. In the Apocrypha, it speaks about... Right, yeah, yeah. After the Syria, they went into a land where, you know, no now, man has dwelt before. What do you think it is? Africa? No, we already know Africa is Egypt, and Egypt is Africa, from Africanus. You can read that in that same book right there as Okay. Well. Um, so it could be Africa. That's because that's where everybody ran to when right. they had an issue. So right, I, be... right. I feel, I feel that. But, but I feel as though if they were to run in Africa, they could have easily, so, they they could have easily uh, uh, well, captured them. But the only way to get to America, and the reason why I can not agree that it's America, you can or can't. I can't. You can't. Like, yes. Okay. And the reason being is because. It didn't say that they traveled through water. By boat. Well, actually, well, actually, well, actually, well, actually says, it says, it says that they passed through. Right? Listen, listen, I, says, and, I'm always willing to be, uh, you know, taught a little bit more. But right. I just, I don't see where they went through. Like here, we're 10,000 miles away from Palestine. Mm -hmm. And the only way to get home, if we ever travel back home. Right would be by ships right only way and in that passage i don't see where they travel through water that long 10 by miles, 10 000 miles away right so I, I feel you but also when you also read you also read in this in this in the soul in the so-called so new testament which was i can't really find this picture right now but i'm but 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 it's actually yeah, it's really so in there but but like when you read in the book of mark it talks about how christ when christ Christ, Christ had passed over, uh, had passed over through the waters. So now, 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 how do you pass through the waters? You want to use a boat for that? It, it depends. So it, it, if you're looking at how Christ passed through the waters, if he's talking on a carnal or a spiritual plane level. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because whoa, we know carnal. that he was born in in Bethlehem, Judah, mm -hmm. right? 
uh, they had an issue because we know he had to flee somewhere else after he was born. Right. But he didn't leave. He ran into Egypt. His parents ran into Egypt. Share? Yeah, I got I got something. I just want to make oh, sure. No, it's yeah, right. So basically, like the land that we own right now, yeah, it's a land Arsura, where if you read in uh, uh in the apocrypha, it says that the uh, northern kingdom was going to go to a land that never mankind dwelt. Yeah. And when you actually look at the, uh, the modern day Jewish encyclopedia, yeah, this is the name of Arsura. It says the name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of man, in which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell, observing the laws of Moses until the time of restoration mm -hmm. right so in time until the time that everything be restored mm -hmm. these uh the ten tribes of israel that went to go serve the heavenly father in a land which never mankind dwelt mm -hmm. this land was uninhabited right yeah. so the point is they were the first ones here you see what i'm saying but so the this, time of reformation already took place restoration yeah. okay restoration yeah. or reformation right no restoration so the reason why i say okay i can say both in a sense, the reason why I say both is because when you go to Hebrews chapter 9, right. he says we were under all the laws and to the time of reformation. So restoration, we both almost saying the same thing, just that we use it in a, two different words. I hear what you're saying. So I would have to ask you this, right? Sure. Are you under the curses right now? Are no. me, me, you, and this brother, are we at the bottom of society right now? Are we still, as Israelites as a whole, suffering from single parent households? Uh, 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 businesses that don't last and we don't support each other, mm -hmm. right? Are yeah. we still suffering from those things? So, now, I mean, yeah, as a nation, yes. Yes, as a nation, look, look, right? Look, 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 look. Wait, wait. So, like, bro, I, do, I do want to deal with that point where it says mm -hmm. Second Earth 15. Yeah. I mean, 13. So, so let's go ahead and read it. Second Earth 13. Where you at? Second okay. Earth 13, about, about the uh, Asherah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Second Earth 13, start at verse uh, 44. Mm -hmm. It says, For the most side, then shoot signs for them, and hell still the flood. Mm -hmm. So they were passed over. So, okay. so, so your argument is, is you're not, you, you don't, you don't see anywhere with ships, right? So he says, still the flood, right? Mm -hmm. he, held, he, held, he held the flood. Now, so, so let's, 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 let's look at that. Okay. Uh, Joseph, I'm not Joseph. Uh, Moses? No, yeah. Mm -hmm. Joshua. Joshua. Okay. I was say Yahshua, but that's it. Yahweh I mean, I mean, I mean, that's the name we use. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, I'm with you on that. You know, we in agreements with so much that we don't have to uh, pick it, pick, pick, pick. You know. Okay, I understand. So when he was crossing over, the priest stepped in the water. That he held the floods back all the way to the city of Adam, and all the way to the end of when they was crossing over, and they took the stones out, the twelve stones out. He still, the water stood still. When the priest's foot hit the hit the river, it stopped. So whatever river they was to pass over, God held the floods while they passed over. See the thing with that is they they were probably in close prox proximity, which uh, you if you don't mind pulling that scripture, uh -huh. you, you know you know what uh, scripture that is. Where the one I just yeah, mentioned. Yeah, the one you just mentioned. Uh, go to Joshua chapter. Uh, go to Joshua chapter eight. Joshua. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little rusty. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't. Don't, all right, cool. Don't get on me. All right, all right, cool. So real fast. And it might be Joshua oh, chapter eight. You know, also real fast. Let me read this real fast. Yeah, yeah. I'm and Mark you. five and twenty one. It says, and when Yahweh saw was passed over by ship mm -hmm. unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. So you see how this used the same phraseology as passed over and yeah. say uh, Christ passed over by a ship. Yeah. Now, so in, in the in the context that is using that, then right. When you go back, we look at it. He was just preaching to the people, right? He went right, over. right. But but still, but still, he used he used he used the ship, yeah, to go where uh, to to go where he needed to go, and then also said passed over. So yeah. so 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 just cause it didn't say passed over by a ship in Second Ezra uh, thirteen doesn't mean that doesn't mean that they didn't uh, uh, they didn't get to Arshareth by a ship. Okay, now I, I, I'm 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 following you, right? Is just that to held the waters back of the flood and traveling 10,000 miles because Israel from Assyria captivity mm. you would have to get in a boat and travel 10,000 miles to get back to Palestine from here mm -hmm. from here mm -hmm. so that's a long way to travel well, well yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean I mean I mean look when you 
we need to get we need to get a look at King uh, of, of, of King Solomon's navy. You know that King Solomon had a navy, of right? Of course. Okay, so cool. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you think that King Solomon navy uh, uh, came to? I don't think they came to um, America. They uh, did. Oh, and I, I, I'm cool with you. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Have you ever heard of the omelets, omelet heads? I will have to revisit that. I don't recall. All right, look. All right, uh, look. you know. I'm, look, I'm about to show you. Is it in the boundaries of the apocrypha in the Bible? Look, I'm, look. Yeah, it is. It is. Look, those are the um, uh, omelets. You never see this before? Mm, not, not really. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay, okay. Because well, we know that's a graven image. We know that Israel don't make graven images. Oh, yeah, it's, it's cool. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm getting to a point. I'm getting to a point which Israel did still, but I mean they but did, but, but we know that but, they. You but know. I'm still. But I'm getting to a point here. These oh, these uh these omelets are over here in South America, mm -hmm. right? Now these are now these are Canaanites. Mm -hmm. These omelets are Canaanites. Mm -hmm. Now, what nationality of people mm -hmm. did King Solomon's navy come from? I mean, uh, you're looking at Hiram Abiff. And so, oh. and, and what was uh, uh, um, um, Hiram? I mean, he, was, he, he was. He was a Canaanite. Yeah, he yeah. Was a Canaanite, yeah, bro. I'm not disputing that, but that was. But I'm, but but you see, but you see, I'm, I'm I'm getting to a point here. Oh yeah, all They nations... traveled over here to America with no uh, when 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 with no with no uh, um, distress. They came over here with ease to get natural resources to bring back to to bring back to America, and also watch and watch this, uh -huh. watch this. They actually bought cocaine. To the Egyptians as well, which cocaine is a natural plant that grows only in the Americas, mm. and and that's a fact, bro. I I have to, as much as research as I did, I know, yeah. but this is called our enemy's land. You agree with that? Yeah, no? yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. It, so, it, it is our enemy's land. Yeah, and so you 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 know that of, of a surety, of a certainty. So if it's called our enemy's land, mm -hmm. how can we preface that? We were here prior to. You get what I'm saying? You know Deuteronomy 28. I know y'all both right, know yeah, of it course, of, course. of a surety. I know it's no doubt, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it's well, the only reason why it's our enemy's land now but is, that's, is that's, because that's, it's because they took it from from the Native Americans, Seminole Indians, but that's, that's, and proclaimed that's, it to look be at their it, land. Uh -huh. You will go buy ships, right? Mm -hmm. We know that to a place where where what? Never, no man, no, no man do it. Well, I, well, I think Deuteronomy 28, 28. Oh, yeah, I know you know that. it. I already yeah, it, know. It doesn't say that. It don't say that, but you, you get that in second Ezra's, though. Yeah, but you get what I'm saying. Uh -huh. on, on a magnitude that we came here as, you know, prior to, and then afterwards what fell on us. I, I don't see it yet. And maybe if y'all see it, I, I just don't see it yet being that, that we was here first. Okay. Oh, oh, um, okay. Okay. So question. Uh-huh. Who do you think is the Northern Kingdom? Oh, do you, I mean, do you think that Native Americans, Mexica Mexicans, no, Puerto Ricans? No, I think I'm going to be completely honest. Okay. When you're looking at Abraham, uh, Abraham, mm -hmm. We know he had two sons, one of the free, one of the bond, okay? okay. Ishmael, Isaac. Okay. Isaac, son of promise. Son of promise. Let's move it over from son of promise, had Esau mm -hmm. and Jacob. Mm -hmm. And we know who Esau is. Red, who is he? Huh? Who is he? I'm not sure if, you, if we agree with Esau if, is. If he's a red man, redneck. Okay, so the so called Caucasians today, right? Not well, car yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, is it is a big mix up because nobody includes Gehazi. Who? Gehazi. Gehazi. Oh, now I'm gonna Who's say that? it again because it's in the scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gehazi. Okay. Who is Gehazi? Everybody leaves out this. This is so important. You talking about uh, um. Oh, yeah. Jaffet? Are you talking about Jaffet? No, oh, okay, I ain't yeah, yeah, Jaffet. yeah. I, I'm not sure who uh, okay, Aza is. Oh, you need to know who he is. Where you get that from, Enoch? Oh, no, I'm getting it from a netbook. Oh, 1611? Oh, okay. Yeah, 1611, all the regular Bible. Okay, all right. I get So that's, let's break it down. 
Good Hayes eyes. All right, all right, all right. And, and let's break down Edgar, Edgar Hayes a little bit later. I just, I no, no, that's on, important. Yeah, I want to stick on this topic first, right, though. I'll do. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want to see who you think, or, or want to see who you think, who are the Northern Kingdom today, though. I mean, the Northern Kingdom. Okay, so the Northern Kingdom, uh, again, who are they? Esau and Jacob, right? So okay. let's go down that road. Okay. Jacob married. Jacob was black. We both agree on that. That's fact, right? Okay. Rachel and Leah, they were sisters. Mm -hmm. Both black. Mm -hmm. You agree with that? Mm -hmm. They had two handmaids, mm -hmm. Zilpha and Bilhah. Bilha. Yep. Black. Right. So, let's say you, Jacob. So what? Let's say you, Jacob. Okay. You got four wives. Leah had four children. Mm -hmm. You telling me where uh, Judah, Levi, Simeon, and Reuben? Mm -hmm. Where you get any other nation that came out of that? And this, this, this thing. You had four children so, by one woman. I'll just, I know. Okay, I'm gonna I'm, give you I'm your question. You, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> uh -huh, go okay, ahead. Esau. Okay, Esau came from who? Esau came from. Isaac, but okay, but okay, but, but I, was Isaac and Rebecca black? Because was no, it was it was yes, it was Isaac and but Rebecca no, black? No, hold on. Can I answer that question? Can Touch I recap when okay, I said no, right, no, no, right, no? Right, let's let's right. let's work together. All right, all right, all right now. Come on now. Right, no. You know, <laughs> you know this for a fact. Mm -hmm. You know that God spoke to Rebecca. Uh huh. And what did God tell Rebecca? Like he said he, he said uh, two nations oh, right now. Okay, now oh. stop right there. He told her what's going to take place in her womb as a separation. He, to the, wait, he wait, wait. the same thing to Jacob. No, and, and no, I, he I, didn't. I, I can read. No, I, I, I got a scripture. Not I already like got the scripture right here. I understand. I already it's got fine. the scripture right here. Pull it up. I was, but I was you, ready for you. No, no, but I was you ready asked, for what you was going to say. You asked about mm -hmm. why the difference, right? Okay, now, it's the same thing with Jacob, but okay. Know. We're going to work together. Okay, That's right. what I love. With, with Esau, you know that the Lord spoke to Rebecca and told her, two nations is in thy womb, right? Mm -hmm. Two manner of people shall be separated from thy bow. Mm -hmm. That means you, we know that the two manner of people is two different types of people. Mm -hmm. That was the first time a red man was ever seen on the face of the earth. Okay, so question. What, what is the difference between us and, uh, us and Latinos and Americans? Okay. There's no difference between us. They come. Uh, it is a difference. Okay, and what's that? So it's four different four different type of people in this world. Black, right? Adam, all the way down into Esau. Okay, but brother, what's the difference between Negroes, yeah. Latinos, and Native Americans? Yeah. Name a difference. There's no such thing as a Negro on this earth. Well, you need, come on, bro. You know what I mean. Bro. Yeah. You know so, what I mean, bro. So Latinos come from Latin, right? That's where that's short from Latin. Now. He said, oh, my children is like a speckled bird. Right? Which means, what? It's, bro, you're, yeah, cutting, on, you're, on, you're cutting yourself, bro. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, do, do, you, do, do, you know, do, you what, do you know what a speckled bird look like? Yes. It's diverse, right? Yes. So okay then, bro. But, so but, what do you mean? Here's the thing. <laughs> Until I, until, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm working with you, bro. Yeah, I'm working, yeah, working, we're working with you, together. Bro. But I'm here's the with thing. You, bro. So when you say I'm cutting myself, right? Yeah. I have to complete the sentence. Okay, okay, my bad. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I so, understand. We know that other nations went into us, right? Other nations have went into us. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so we we looking at all we we looking at all okay, black. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, my man got the lily on. <laughs> yeah, hey, don't, yeah. hey, don't hide it. Don't hide it. Oh man, oh man, it's, man, it's all right. <laughs> but hey, but go ahead, but go ahead. All black from Adam all the way down to Esau. It was nothing. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. From the flood, Adam to the flood, Noah, right. it was nothing but Hebrews. It right. was one nation, one type of people, right? All black. Esau came out as the first red man ever seen on the face of the earth. When Esau, he went into his first wife was a Canaanite, right? And his second wife was a Hittite, right? Right. If he go into two black women, what type of nations would we have? Depends, bro. Depends. I mean, this is where you get your, your yellow nations from. Depends, bro. Because uh, it depends because dark because dark nations can uh, 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 can birth 
any type of phenotype, bro. But well, we're talking about the father of I, I, Edom. I, I understand that. So he didn't have another red woman to go into. Okay, I understand that. He had two black women okay, to I go understand. into. Okay, I understand. But have you ever heard of generational al, uh, al, albinoism? So albino is a curse. We know that. Yeah, which Esau is cursed. No, no. Esau ain't get that curse. Esau is cursed. No, I understand, but he oh, didn't oh, get that oh, curse. Okay, okay, okay. Do you, okay, but look. <laughs> but Ge Gehazi got that curse. Do you believe, <laughs> do you believe in rein, do you believe in reincarnation? I haven't seen it in the scripture well, I get, one time. Well, 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 I can easily show you or demonstrate reincarnation in the Bible, but we believe that Cain is Esau in the reincarnation. What was that mark that was set upon Cain? The police of melanin, bro. Well, you can't, you can't read it that. You can't read that, but it does say mark, right? So we have to take that same mark and go to Genesis, uh, go to Revelation. Mark, right? Nah, 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 no, no, no. No, no, but I'm, it's I, it's I know it's a difference. It's different. But all I'm saying to you is when you look at Mark. But the point is, I, but the point is, <laughs> what's up with this northern kingdom? Right. Yeah, but I'm, uh, listen, I, I, I want to I wanna, I wanna say what's up with this northern kingdom. Get, I, I would don't, explain. I, mean, I ain't trying to hop scotch No, everywhere. no, I ain't trying to hop. I'm just, I would dictate you that if you had four kids, mm -hmm. then this is what I was going to with, with, when Jacob had his wife. He had four children by Leah. Okay. You telling me that they're gonna come out different nations? Now I understand Esau because God right. told her that it was gonna come out different nations. Right. All Jacob's children are black. Okay, cool. So can I please read this and show you sure. um archaeology as well? Okay, watch sure. this, bro. So this is Genesis 35, and I'm starting verse 10, right? Uh -huh. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. So you're talking about our, our forefather Jacob, right? That's thy right. name shall not be called no more Jacob, but, but Israel yeah. shall be thy name. And he shall, and he and he called his name Israel. Watch uh -huh. this verse 11. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. Watch this. A nation and a company of nations uh -huh. shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. So that, mm -hmm. but so the heavenly father specifically told Jacob, look, a nation. And a company of nations yeah. is going to come out of you. So, 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 so you're going to have different type of nations that that come out of you. But we all go back to one man. Two, two. When when the northern and southern kingdom quit, you know, split. Yes, you know split. that went into two nations. Okay. The facts. two sticks. Facts. You can facts. Read. That's that's okay. That's so true. a company of nation that was that. I can't read to where and also Latin, mm -hmm. Latin or any of them is any other nation. All so what nation they come from, bro? Huh? So what nation? So what nation they come from? Well, again, Esau, red mixing with black makes yellow nations. That's not true, bro. Oh, it's, what's up, what's up, bro? It's, it's, it's back. I was going to ask a question. Are you ahead. saying that the so-called Hispanics and the Native Americans, right, no, are our people because of their skin color? Okay. Just, I'm just, saying it. I'm saying it because. Big. If you look at if you if red and blacks makes yellow. I get that. Russian and Chinese. So you're saying they're supposed to be black? No, they. Once Esau went into a black woman, he had a Hittite woman and a Canaanite wife. That was his two first wives. He was red. There's no way another he was going to make another red woman. He went into right. a black woman. Right. That nation came out yellow. That's yeah. where you get your Russian that's from. That's not true. You... That's not true, bro. Because look, bro, if you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, look, 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 yeah. Look at look at look at Blake Griffin, but he's a look at him. He, he, you would think he's a white boy, but right. he's a product of, of a so of, of of a so called red and black or um, 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 relationship. Oh, yeah, I understand that. So 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 just cause so, so just cause Esau has sex with a black woman does not mean that the baby's gonna come out black. Right. Look at look at Blake Griffin. Look at his son. Right. Look at so, Drake. I understand, but whatever. And, and, all, and also this, I want to show you this archaeology uh -huh. of the Israelites going down into Egypt. Yeah. Look at that! Oh no, no, bro! Look, 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 bro! We know that we can't like no, uh, no, base stuff off a of graven image. Bro, no, it's not. It's not a. What is? What is the? What is <laughs> the a, biblical definition of, of of a graven image? A grave something. Do that's, you take pictures? Do you no, take pictures? Uh, do you do you take pictures? 
to my desk. Yo, this man really take no picture. Bro. How you do? How you? <laughs> listen, I want to know how he got. <laughs> bro, how did you get there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how did you do that? I'm an Israelite, right? Okay. Well, oh, no, oh. no, no, no. Well, uh, I don't take no, no oh, photos. Oh, right? uh, he's taking it to a new level. Yeah. Now, look, 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 no graven images or no like. No, 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 no. No, listen, bro. Graven images is what they do in the church, bro. That's what. That's, that's not what this. a graven image is, bro. I understand. That's that's part. That's part. That's this in part. Okay. But you named this in church. Okay. I'm naming. I'm but, naming. But a regular picture is not a graven image, bro. It's a likeness. A likeness of what? So let me ask you a question. A uh, graven image. No, a graven right. image is dealing. Is dealing with. Is, is, is Can dealing, I ask you a question? With idolatry, bro. Right. Can I ask you a question? Okay. If I see you, and I shoot at you. I can, you'll get shot, right? Yeah. If I see your image on television, your likeness on television, and I shoot the television, nothing will happen. You know why? It's because, strong, man, bro. That's, no, that, that's a false... That's a that's, likeness That's a false equivalency, you. bro. Because so, you can be on a thousand bro. TVs, right? Okay. And all that thousand TVs is a likeness of you. Okay, bro. bro <laughs> I've never watch. seen Beyonce a day in my life. I've seen the likeness of her, though. Oh, okay, okay, bro. <laughs> Bro, I seen the likeness of her. Listen, bro, <laughs> this is the definition of graven image: a carved idol that's or right. representation of a god then used as an object me? of worship, bro. Now, 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 people, uh, people are not worshiping this, so therefore you can't Wait say that this is a graven image. Give me the, give me the precept in the Exodus: Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Right? right, a picture is not making anything. But wait a minute, wait a minute. A picture is taken. But wait a minute, can I say that? Okay. I know you know this already, so I don't have to dispute. <laughs> Or any likeness. Okay. A likeness is a similitude. Ask, the, ask Google, what's a likeness? So, so, so for the all four corners, right, uh -huh. uh, uh, of Israelites, to get this truth, we have to make videos, right? Mm. Primarily, we're over here in the Americas, but we got Israelites all scattered throughout the world. But the, the Heavenly Father set up YouTube and the internet so that way the word could be pushed out. So why would that be a sin? For us to make a video and post it so that way a brother can be edified and, 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 and exhorted through the scriptures. Okay, so uh, getting that, let's, let's be real honest. That's a, that's, a, that's a good point. Let's be, okay, so the devil created Instagram and Facebook. However, can something be used? You gotta look at the fruits. You gotta look at the fruits of something. I'm not oh, saying. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. He's about to cut himself. Go ahead, go ahead. No. Say what you about to say. Say, yeah. say what you about to right, say. Watch this. Watch this. Can it be used for what? Can it be used for good? Hey. I'm not saying this is what I'm telling you. <laughs> Bro, you keep doing it to yourself, no, man. I'm, I'm not gonna. You know what? You keep doing it to yourself. No, because I'm. Hey, really... listen. Hey, 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 listen. 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 For you. Listen. listen. <laughs> Listen, let's let's stay on topic, please, bro. Oh, so now, listen, so now wait, this is so now this is a, a depiction. A, uh, is that a carved image? I just say, is it? Not used oh. for worship. Not used for worship. Yeah. Not used for worship, forget, bro. Forget the worship. It's not part. used for worship, bro. No, no, I guess I forget the worship part. Is it a carved image? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Did not hold on. Did not the Heavenly Father tell Moses to carve our images to uh, build a... That uh, was uh, Moses. Oh, 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 oh,
in the in the tabernacle because it was a reflection of so what was up there. Right? And really, and, re and really, truly, bro, and really, and really, truly, bro. <laughs> This we got a right to divide. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, listen, but really, truly, the image I'm about to show you is pre mosaic law anyway. This is pre. This this is pre. This is pre mosaic. This is pre. This is pre mosaic law anyway. But but but. I'm listening to y'all. We working together. But listen, bro. The Bible says what it says. It says that he commanded no. He give has he hasn't given any man license to sin. No man. No man. So 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 if so. So if, so if so if making a picture uh -huh. or, or or making a statue yeah. is a sin, that means that Moses sin, bro. That means that God no. told Moses to sin. No. Yes, bro. No. Yes, yes. Listen. Okay. You can be, I, you being stiff neck, bro. You being stiff neck. Can I explain? You're being an Israelite. Can I explain? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Explain. All right. So, what he told Moses to do. Not only what he told Moses to do. Guess what he did? What when Moses made it, he put his spirit on Moses. Now. God can do that. What about Solomon? He put his spirit on Solomon. <laughs> so God commanded two people to sin. Huh? No, he didn't command them to sin. If God tell you to do something. So let me ask you, can I ask you a question. Sure. So if God commanded me to do the same thing, like if, if Moses did it, it wasn't a sin, right? No. I'm, okay. I'm, hold on. Go ahead. I'm saying what, the, what you just said was a sin, yeah. right? And painting the likenesses, that, was, that wasn't a sin because the Most High commanded him to do so, right? Like this it wasn't a sin for Moses because the Most High commanded him to do that, right? Yeah, that's what, that's what you're saying. So do. the Most High commanded me to go sleep with a brother's wife. Would that be a sin? Well, you know he wouldn't do that. Bro, come on, man. So we know we're playing your game, bro. Yeah, exactly. I'm not so we're playing. Playing. You it's said it. as long as the Most High commands you to do something, but it's not a sin. It's like, written that he it? told Moses what to do. What is one of the worst sins to commit? Well, why is Israel in a dodge? I mean, why is Israel in slavery today? Why, why are we in slavery today? We, we know the six sins that the Lord, six abominations that the Lord hated. Yeah, 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 know, yeah, yeah, but but you said that's the worst. What, what, knows. What, what, what is the what is the worst one that God hates? Though? Adultery. Idolatry. Right? And isn't a, isn't, isn't graven <laughs> image associated with idolatry, bro? So why would the heavenly Father tell Moses to do something that he explicitly hates, bro? Right. So. Uh, so we're looking at the things that he told Moses to make in the tabernacle, right? That he gave commandments that you actually could see in the law, right? But yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Now, no one else could do that. Even the perfume that came in there, That's it not could true. not be made by anybody. I know what you're talking about. But, but, now, that, hold on, I mean, hold on, hey, but, about, but when the <laughs> Greeks, but when the Babylonians and the Greeks destroyed our temple, we had to, we had to, re, we had to rebuild those things, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, but who did he put his spirit on? <laughs> Okay, 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 cool. So the Lord, okay, 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 so look, so the Lord put the spirit on whoever made these artifacts so that we can have proof of of who the Israelites are today. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, whoever made this artifact that I'm about to show you, the Lord put the spirit on him. So now let's get to these artifacts now. We don't walk by sight. We don't walk by sight. So so now so now so now let's get to these artifacts. Go ahead. I'm so now, so now these are Israelites going down into Egypt, bro. And look at their phenotypes. These are different phenotypes, bro. Hey, bro, come on, bro. This guy look like a, 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 a Puerto Rican right here, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I guess. I guess in Ezekiel when it when they was in the, in the temple. Look at that, bro. And he told Ezekiel, look through the wall. <laughs> what were they come looking on, at? Bro. It was all abominations. He said, keep on going. He said, this is a great abomination. Bro, 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 bro. Listen, bro, listen, 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 sir. Hey, listen. I'm look, I looked at the picture, yeah, you look, too. So, so look at that, bro. I looked at the picture, yeah. So, exactly, it's bro. It's a graven image. <laughs> oh, but, but listen, bro, regardless, if you think it's a graven image, regardless. <laughs> you know it's a graven image. No, I don't. It's not. But those are how the Israelites look. Oh, man. Oh, hold on, bro. Those are how the patriarchs are depicted going going down into Egypt, bro, and they all have different phenotypes, bro. Like, for instance, bro, everybody in my family doesn't look doesn't look the same, bro. Uh, you're right. I'm, I, bro, I'm the darkest in my family. Everybody else is, is lighter than me, bro. I, I follow How you. about you, bro? I seen your cousin. Bro, we we seen this brother cousin. You see how this brother look? Bro, his cousin is yellow. Look like Homer Simpson, bro. Yeah, that can happen. All I'm saying ex is... Ex exactly, bro. So, so bro, it's not far-fetched then, bro. Uh, what I'm saying is, is... And then on top of that, time yeah, out. On top of that, time out. You're 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 assuming that Belha and Zilpah, you're you're assuming that there was there was dark skin. Uh, not every not everybody that came from that region uh, of the earth was dark, dark ass soil. It was, it was black. They yeah. were black. And, and that same cousin you talking about, right? He got he's freckles and he's very light skin. 
both of his parents are brown skin like me, and my uncle even got the DNA test. I mean, this is again speckled birds. You right? know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. So you put but, yourself but, speckled birds. No, bro. so exactly. we come in. You dark skin. He's brown skin. Light skin. We we can go from dark all the way to light skin. But well, all, that's how, all, that's all I'm saying they just I'm like Puerto Ricans, bro. Latino, Cubans, bro. They can be. Listen, they dark. They can be dark. They can go all the way. Bro, light, you, but, hey, you, <laughs> hey, you, look, hey, you look like a Cuban yourself, bro. You look like you can be Puerto Rican yourself, bro. You look like you be something. I mean, yeah. it's, 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 it's the only thing I say this here, mm -hmm. and I know uh, the, the based off the line, mm -hmm. is is that his children was all black because he was black. And uh, leopard don't change the spots. Listen, bro. I just showed. I just showed you archaeology, bro. I just showed you pottery, bro. I just showed you pottery, bro. You, you can't argue. You can't argue. Um, um, you can't argue with the facts, bro. I just showed you pottery. So, so just so just because. Listen, bro. My sister, my sister, right? She come from two dark skin uh, parents. My mom is dark skin, and and you see my mom, bro. Right, 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 right. And her father's dark skin, bro. How my sister looks, bro? My, bro, my bro, bro, my sister is is is, is like his a little bit lighter, bro. I can, I can, I, listen, I can, I can testify to that. Light skin, dark skin. Yeah, bro. So 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 so, 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 so that doesn't about... mean that. All, and, and besides, bro, when, before pre. Yeah, so you pre, do oh, know that we all gotta go home. Right? Yeah, come on, yeah. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Pre-colonial America. If you look at the depictions of the Mexicans, which which are the ancient Aztecs, mm -hmm. the Incas, which are which are the so-called uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro, right. which 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 are the which are the Peruvians today, and the so-called Taino Indians, bro, there were uh, bro a lot of them pictures depicts them as being dark skinned too, bro. Let me ask you a question: Mexicans, right? Yep. They come over here, right? You see, how they all work together, right? Jamaicans, they come over here. You see how all oh, they work together too, oh, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> my, my family's Jamaican, so so it's not. Hold like, on, so, I'm just trying to get you. Jamaicans not Israelites. Listen, Jamaicans I'm... are not Israelites. Haitians, they come over here. They work together too. Are Haitians not Israelites? Holly come Sel on, bro. You ain't finna do this. Holly Selassie. Huh? Holly Selassie. Yeah. He he he's a, he, uh, he he's a heathen, bro. <laughs> okay. He's a, okay. Holly Selassie is a um Kushite. Ethiopian. Yeah, uh, yeah, bro. He, Wait he's a Kushite. <laughs> What is, nah, I'm not going to go into that. I, I want to so, yeah, Oh, hey, hey, but bro, but, but bro, I knew, <laughs> I knew, listen. I knew that's where you was going, bro. What? Haitians, they stick together and work together. Jamaicans, they stick together and work together too, bro. So if you want to, if you gonna make that same point, that means that Jamaicans and Haitians are not Israelites, then, bro. Listen, all, all I'm saying to you is this: here. <laughs> whenever you look at, you mentioned at the very beginning the curses, right? Oh. Yes, you let's go through it, the curses. Right? Nah, I'm just telling you, let's you go, mentioned oh, the curses, please, right? Please, let's go through the curses. Please, let's do And this, he please. mentioned at the very beginning that we can't stick together. Every time we establish a business, we can't stick together, right? Oh, really? No, I'm just, just, I'm just, I'm just, just following me, though. Even with Hispanics, they, so, Hispanics go through the same curses. Oh, oh, no, oh, I, 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 I got a question. But just oh, I got a question. I got a question. I'm just going off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, time out. I'm, I'm, Vic, I'm, I'm Vic, uh, a victorious kitchen right. over there, all guys. Right. Uh, They're run by so called African Americans, right? right? How long have they been there? Years. Years, bro. Yeah, yeah. Years. So bro, is that, they've been there for years. Hold on, hold on. Let this pass. Let this pass. Bro, they, bro, they are black Americans and they've been there for years, bro. Yeah, the, you the, understand? The oh, difference look. between a husband and wife running things and, and people working for them. After you done, if I could defend my Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Hold, hold, and hold yeah. on, too. So, so question two. Yeah. Do you believe that there's still uh, our people oh, our people over there in Africa, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So, so, so Deuteronomy 2068 says that the Aristotle are going to slavery on a ship. Yes. But not all of them right. went on slavery on a ship. So, does that mean that those that Very were left. left so, 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 does that mean. So, look. And my and my family come from Ghana, bro. Like my dad's side, uh -huh. they come from Ghana. So I'm so I'm really Ghanaian, but I'm an Israelite though. Yeah. So you telling me telling me that I'm not an Israelite because I didn't hop on a boat and go into slavery? <laughs> exactly, bro. So not every Israelite is gonna fall under yeah. every single so it, curse, bro. Here's here the thing. I tell you this, right? I I mean it's fun have to, to, to debate. We all know. I believe that y'all know we we have to go home. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, but hold on. I'm just brought that a point, too, though. Yeah, but the point is, you said that just because I said that, you know, a lot of us are disenfranchised when it comes to businesses, you know, especially the tribe of Judah, right? But even with the so-called Hispanics... The tribe of Judah is the strongest tribe. I, you know, I, I, okay. 
but even with the so-called Hispanics, you see a lot of the, uh, the poppy stores and the bodegas and things like mm -hmm. that. But a lot of them are actually uh, uh, renting out to the, uh, the so-called Asians, right? So they don't actually own those stores. Ishmael too. Yeah, Ishmael. So you see, a, so you see a lot of that, right? Just because you see them working more together, right? Like the brother said, be, just because I have a father in my life, mm -hmm. but one of the curses says that we're gonna have fatherless homes, that doesn't mean that I'm not an Israelite. You see what I'm saying? So just because they might not be going through the curse of being disenfranchised with the businesses, uh -huh. right, does yeah. not make them or exclude them from being an Israelite. That's what I meant. I just I just had to make that point mm -hmm. of one of the curses to actually show that Judah is Israelites. Okay. That's all. I, I, I know Judah, all Judah is Israel. Judah is the strongest tribe which got spread further from his border than everybody, every other tribe because they knew they was the strongest. Like, I, I got that and I followed that. Okay, but cool. So now you said um, <laughs> go ahead. we have to go home now? I mean, we, 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 ha we all got to go home. And where's that? Israel? Yeah, we all going back to Israel. So, 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 so you're, so you're planning on saving up money and move to Israel? No. Oh, okay. So how are we going to get back to Israel? <clears throat> all right. Well, it's going to be a great war that's going to take place. World War Three. Ah, uh, this last war. World War Three, right? <laughs> and I guess we, we'll, I guess the world can call it that. <laughs> What's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the world can call know. it that. And that. What's going to happen after World War Three? So yeah, after the war, mm -hmm. we're going to find out as a nation who on, we bro? are. Hey, good, bro. Hey, you're Israelite, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, that all praise, all yeah. praise. God, God. Yeah. That, that's right. That's right. Loyalty. We're going to find out who we Loyalty, are. Loyalty, my bad. Okay. But they're gonna put us out of this country. The only reason why they holding us in this country, right, 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 no punk thing, right, right, bro, is simply because right they know that we're the blessing. So they're gonna uh, kick us out of here. Oh wait a minute, they need us to fight this war. Okay. Why? Because we're the blessing. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason why they tired of us here. Mm -hmm. We're getting hot. We're getting a little heavy on their hands. Yeah, I see you, man. You got your own roofing business. Yeah, oh, yeah we booming, yeah. 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 Uh, that, that don't mean nothing. I'm just trying <laughs> to get by just like you are. Right. Um, but we're going to get hot and heavy on their hands. Mm -hmm. And after this war, they're going to put us out of this country. Okay. So, and when we go back home, yeah. you can read in the scriptures where everybody will be placed in their own tribe. Okay, okay. So, cool. So, I have an issue with... Which, oh, well, first and foremost, how long have you known that you, you was Israelite for? How long? Does that matter? I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I just want to know, bro. I mean, it could have been 12, 13 years, something like that. You was done with a camp before? Like, what you mean? Like, like, I don't know. You, I don't know. You kind of give off like an IUIC spirit to me, like. You do look like uh, yeah, you do, yeah, yeah, you can, you can, yeah, he do look like Nate, yeah, you can. IUIC, yeah, IUIC. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the guys in purple that be down broad and island. Nah, nah, you was down with them. Hey, hey, okay, that's cool. But anyway, bro, see, see, so like, I have issue with that because that interferes with um prophecy, bro. Okay, I'm listening. It does, cause look, cause look, look, I'm about to show you. Eyes open. I'm about to show you, bro. Cause when you read in prophecy, where we going, Jeremiah, Isaiah? No, no, Michael. When you read Micah 4 and 10, it right, says, uh, Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now thou shalt go forth out of the city. Now, the city is talking about Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. We shall go forth out of the city. That's dealing with 70 AD, mm -hmm. the, the so-called Roman Jewish wars, right? It says, And thou shalt dwell in the field, because when we got kicked out of Jerusalem, we dwelt in the field, which that, which that field represents West Africa. Wait, okay. You speaking well. Uh -huh. In the Congo. That's where we was at. Uh, we, we weren't just in the Congo. Though. We was in Ghana, Mali, Shanghai. Yeah, but we were, a, a lot of us got taken. If you go back and you look at the map from Slave. where we got taken from. We got taken from the Belgian Congo. Up yeah. in there. Um, Who's taking from over there? Yeah, Who's yeah. taking from over there? And then, but then, uh, 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 when you actually, when you actually do the research, uh -huh. on the top, on the top 10 tribes, where uh, our people actually come from, uh, a few of those tribes are the Mali tribe, man, man, uh, man, uh, Dingo, uh, the Bono tribe, Ashanti. But I mean, we're also we're taking from the Congo too. But you know, but, but that's still West Africa though. Who sold us? Huh? Who sold us? Who sold us into slavery? 
um, our people sold us into slavery and you had- Why do you say our? Huh? Why do you say our people? Because our own people did sell us into slavery too. Yeah, the Africans. I, and, and the Hamites. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. They're yeah. not our people. Yeah, of course, of course, the Hamites <laughs> not our people. But listen, bro, you had our people that was selling ourselves, that are selling each other into slavery yeah, too, no, bro. No, no, the Egyptians is not Israelite. Oh, no, bro, I, <laughs> bro, I, bro, I know. Uh, but you, t I'm talking about you had Israelites yeah. that were selling other Israelites mm. too, bro. Yes, it does. Yeah, bro, that's in the scriptures, bro. Uh, I mean, it's, it's where, in the scriptures, where bro. you read it at, not there. We're talking about leaving the Belgian Congo and in and, and, and Deuteronomy 28. Hold up. You, can't, hey. you can't, you can't. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, bro. Go ahead. Hold up, bro. All right, so look, all right, so look, see, look. So look I mean, you was in Micah. I know you was explaining in yeah, Micah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, so now I kind of got to jump to this now. Yeah. Because, you know, you know, a lot of, a lot of people in the faith, they have it messed up. They think that only the Hamites were selling us. But no, our people are wicked too, bro. Our people were selling each other in slavery too. And look, hold on, hold on. It's proof of that, but oh, yeah. not not at that time. Oh, oh, no, okay, okay, not, not, no, no, no. What you're saying is 100% true. Right. But not at that time. Okay, okay, but bro, do you realize when we were over there in the West Coast of Africa that we were we were straight away from our from from our from our heritage from our nationality. So we weren't all looking at each other as the same people, bro. Like Israelite tribes, I'm talking about Israelite so-called African tribes. Yeah. We were actually going to war, going to war with each other, bro. And oh, we would sell ourselves as exactly, bro. So yeah. all right, bro. So it's not but far. Not, not 70 AD. That's different. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the transatlantic slave trade. Yeah, we didn't sell each other. They. they, they, they the, the Hamites, yeah, bro, and the and, Canaanites, yeah. they sold us. We didn't sell ourselves, bro. Bro, listen, bro, it went three ways. Are you talking about you want Amos two and like six or something like that? Yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah, read yeah. it. I know where you at. <laughs> bro, bro, the slave trade happened three, bro, three ways, bro. We were selling ourselves. The Hamites were selling us, and the Edomites were actually coming in the interiors of West Africa and snatching us up, bro. It happened three ways, bro. It, it didn't just happen one way. Come on, bro. Read. All right, read that, yeah. Amos chapter 2, verse 6. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Israel, Go ahead. and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, Go ahead. because they sold the righteous because for they silver. What? They sold the righteous for silver. They sold the righteous. Now, this is talking about Israel. They sold oh, the, now, who's the righteous? Now, we're, now, before we go. Who's the righteous? Of course, I was, but. So we sold each other. So we sold each other, hold bro. On, hold on. I remember, remind you what I said. I specified that, yes, we sold each other, but right. not at this time, not at 70 AD. Yeah, but we're not talking about 70 AD, bro. We're talking about the trans Yeah, I know, trade. but that's what I'm talking about. That's 70 AD. No, so bro, no, bro. 70 AD is when we, we got thrust out. 70 AD is when we got thrust out, right? We got thrust out of Jerusalem. I just see black button, bro. Oh, so, see, yeah, yeah, bro. So, 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 bro, so, bro. Seventy AD is, is not the slave trade. Seventy AD was when we got kicked out that's of right. Jerusalem, bro. That's right. So, agree. so that's separate from the slave yeah. trade. So the slave trade was further down. Yeah, 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 so, exactly. Where, hey, where what's, did what's we going go? on, sis? You all right? All right. Where did we go? We went into deep and down into Egypt, what we call today Africa, right? Uh, some of us went to Egypt, but but uh, but a good portion of us went to west, west, northern and western Africa. That's Egypt. No, it's not. There's no such thing as Africa in the Bible. It's only Egypt. You know that. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, no such up, bro, bro, hold on. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Hey, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm following tell you. Me, bro. So you're telling me that all of the landmass uh -huh. of Africa is, 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 is Egypt? Egypt. Yes. No, bro, no, bro. That's wrong. That's wrong. So. Oh, I got, I got crushed. I got crushed. Where is, where, where, where is Israel? Oh, I can't be on. Oh, 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 my bad, bro. Oh, that's no, fine. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, okay, so where, so, okay, bro, so where is uh, Israel at? Israel's in Palestine. Israel is, is Israel is in Palestine. Oh, okay, okay, uh, listen, 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 listen. What land did Abraham, uh, did the Most High promise, promise our father Abraham? Okay, okay, which is from the Nile River to the Euphrates River, right? So where is the Nile River at? The, the, the Nile River is... Right, it on. runs through Egypt, bro. Right? So, but you wouldn't, but you just said Israel is in Palestine. Here's the thing. But you, Egypt is called what? What do God call Egypt? The house of bondage. Right? Okay. So, so how, Egypt is just one section but, but in would, Africa, bro. Why would the house of bondage be our land? 
bro, that's bro, 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 that's part, of it. bro. It's part of it, not the whole land. No, it's at just all. part of it, bro. At all, it's, it's not our land at all, bro. Hey, hey, listen, listen, bro, listen, bro. We was held bondage. We read, we, we read on the book of Judges. We was held bondage in our in our, in our own land, bro. But, but I'm just talking about Egypt specifically. He calls it the house of bondage. All right, all right. And here we're in Egypt a second time. Okay, oh, oh, okay, okay, bro, okay, bro. Um, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it, bro. No, but I mean, listen, we just uh, you, you, okay, okay. I, I, I just let you have it. I, I, I really, I really want to go. I really, I really want, I really want to go back to what you was talking about. How you were saying how, how we, how we, how we uh have to go. How they gonna kick us out of here, right? Yeah. Which, which we read it. Which reading in the prophecies was. Let me finish it. Bible four and ten. It says, "Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion." Like a woman in travail, yeah. for now shalt thou go forth out of the city, yeah. Jerusalem, and thou shalt dwell in the field, Africa, and thou shalt go even unto Babylon, yeah, which, Africa? which, which, well, which well, it, it, it doesn't say <laughs> verbatim Africa, but, 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 but we know. You, know. you can't read the word Africa not one time in the Bible. No, you can't. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No, I, okay I got, I got, I got, I got questions to you. I got, uh -huh. I got questions. No, you can't. Okay, okay, Not I got questions. Is America in the Bible? Yes, it is. Okay, 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 but okay, okay, okay. Can, okay. okay. can I read the word America, America in the Bible? No. no. All right then, bro. What? So, 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 stop nitpicking them, bro. You told me don't nitpick. What? You don't nitpick, what bro. The thing, though. Preach I what say, you teach. I say. African. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, practice what you preach. I say African came from man in that book that you know you can read called Africanus. And you know you can read it in the Bible, right? So oh, okay, again, okay, bro. He, he, he overcame, he overcame. Can I please finish? Can I please finish the Egypt point? And named it Africanus. You bro, know this. Bro, African. bro, can I please finish the point, bro? Right. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. It says, Thou shalt, uh, I'll read it for you. Thou shalt go into Egypt, which really is not Egypt, because we didn't go. Well, some of us went to Egypt, but some of us went to West Africa. But anyway, it says, there, a slot. And it says, Thou shalt dwell, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. Now, what is modern day Babylon? Modern day Babylon. Uh, uh, Syria. Uh, well, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking about um, the new Babylon. Oh, um, it's, it's over here in America. America is Mystery Babylon the Great. No. So so what so so what's mystery? Mystery, mystery Babylon. Um, the Vatican. The Vatican. Prove it. So Babylon, we know it's confusion, right? So mystery Babylon and Great Instead of going up the forehead, right there. Babylon is seven hills. Seven hills. Uh, all right, look, well look, well look, well look, well look, I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you how, how that's wrong. Because 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 the seven hills or the seven heads actually represents kings. That's what it actually represents. It doesn't literally represent uh, uh, um, um, Babylon sitting on seven hills. It actually represents kings, and I and I and I, and I can read that to you. Uh, you, you guess what? You're right. You see, look, but, see, look, see, look, see, look, see, look. I got you. I got you. Watch this. Revelation, Revelation 17 and 9. Uh -huh. And here is the mind which had wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth, yeah. in which the woman is. Well, well, well we believe that I'm, I'm the woman. I'm the woman is. Uh, as um, uh, which, which is Babylon. What is the woman? Babylon, America, America. We, we believe that the woman is America. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. What is what is Zion? She's a woman. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, stop, stop, stop. Just work with me. Just work with me. Yeah. Just work with me. Just work with me. Yeah. This woman is not Israel, brother. Huh? This woman is not Israel, bro. No, 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 no. The, the, the church is a woman. Fashion at the woman, Christ's bride, which is Mount Zion. So this woman in Revelation 17, are you telling me it's America? It, it, no. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, it's Israel. No. So. No, no, no. When it's Israel, yes, in his entirety, Christ is coming back for a bride. He's coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, right? What's that woman? That's a woman. What's no, this no. Woman in? What's this woman in this Revelation woman, 17? Can I, can I, can I, this work with you. The woman is a counterfeit of the real thing. So Esau could not get the church. So what he do? He counterfeited it. Bro, this what's is, this woman in Revelation? Who's the counterfeit bro? then? The, the counterfeit is the Catholic Church. That, so let me ask you. Can I ask you? Oh, because we got two women. Guess what? One woman. One woman is the wine, the true wine, which is the Word of God, right? The other woman 
is the, the counterfeit word of God, which is the Catholic Church. They go contrary to the word of God. They have a church which is counterfeit. The devil tries to counterfeit everything that God does. And what's those seven and what's those seven uh seven hills? He just read with the seven hills. I gotta I gotta look at it again. I have to look so, at it again. But again, I just want you to do good. Both of them got wines. The so, but my point is, right, if you don't know the full breakdown, if yeah. you don't even know your full breakdown, know, you can't right. say, so hold, yeah, if you don't know your full breakdown, you can't emphatically say that our breakdown is wrong. We you. have the full breakdown, yeah. but yours is incomplete, so... For, for, incomplete. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> because you, do you have... Hold on, hold on. Revelations do you, in a long time. Okay, but, <laughs> but then you can't see fit to try to uh, uh, denounce somebody Scrutinize. else's. No, yeah. listen, no, if no, you, because, you're just, you're just saying that's not it. But I don't know what it is. Uh, listen, emphatically, all I'm saying am is, I right? Okay. So am I right? I'm, I'm, or, you don't know what it is, right? Guess. I'm going to say you're right for now. Okay. Because in the sense why? Because in this context, it's not about being right or wrong. It, it's more. It, 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 it is. is. It's it more, is, bro. No, 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 it is, bro. It's more effective. It boils down to the I truth. Just, but here, here's the thing, though. No, no, no. This one, y'all. Look. Just, just, just check it out. The seat of the beast, right? Is a seat. He has a seat that the devil gave power to. Right? He gave power to this seat. One seat. What seat is that? Listen, brother. No, I'm just asking. You know, I you know I answer your question. Who is it? Uh, who, who is it? Um, to you. I, I told you. I, I ain't holding back nothing. Who, said, who is it I to you? I told you. It's the Vatican City, and it's the the the, the, the Pope, whatever Pope. That's the power of the seat of the beast. Brother, okay, 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 brother. Now I told you. Okay, 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 brother, okay, okay, brother, okay, brother. Brother, when you read about Babylon, yeah. the great, in the book of Revelation, the modern day Babylon, it talks modern about it, it, it talks. right? No, 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 no. no. Oh, I'm not. No, 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 I ain't talking about ancient Babylon. I'm talking okay, about I'm talking about this mystery Babylon, the great. Yes. It talks about how everybody flocks to that to that place. Everybody don't flock to the Vatican City, bro. Right. Nobody cares about the Vatican City, bro. Everybody comes over here to America, brother. Yeah. Right? Okay. What, 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 oh, what? Other other people who come from other countries, where the hell do they want to go? They want to go to New York. They want to go to L.A. They want to go to Hollywood. They don't say, let's go and let's, and let's tour Vatican, Vatican City. Yeah. What, do, what do you mean? So, you have the woman? Hold on, hold on, but hold on, bro. Do, hold on, but do you understand that? You understand in the scripture that it talks about how 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 everybody wants to come to Babylon. You understand that, right? You understand that? Y yes, right? Yeah. So, can you say that everybody wants to go to the Vatican? Yay or nay? Yay or nay? Yay or nay? Can I say yeah? Everybody? No, everybody doesn't. Want to exactly. Go to nobody want to fuck to to, well, to the Vatican. Here's the thing, though. All her daughters is here. You know who her daughters is? The Catholic Church, the Baptist Church. The Protestant church, all her daughters, is here. So is the mother, so is the daughter. That's all her daughters. And you know, you, are, you can reconcile with that, right? Vatican sir, Vatican is the, is the head, is the mother. She's the mother harlot of all these churches that stand in position on Sunday. You're not, you're right? not, you're not, you're not, you're not, first and foremost, you're not, first and foremost, you're not, first and foremost, you're not, you're not, you're not understanding what, what mother of uh, what a mother of something mean, right? For instance, they call um they call the Super Bowl the what? They call it okay. If you don't know, they call the Super Bowl the mother of all games. Now does the mother of all games? Now does now does every single NFL game stem from the Super Bowl game? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I yes or no? To make a corner, yes or no? Yes or no? Right now, my mind is, is I, I'm, I'm not lying, my mind is not, I can barely get a yay or a nay from you, brother. How old are you, brother? How old are you? I'm old enough. How, how old are you, brother? That don't mean nothing. How, how old are you, man? brother? Bro, bro, nothing. listen, bro, you're old enough to give me a yes or a no. Yeah, because... Come on, bro. No, my mind's I'm, 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 I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to build with you, bro. Because you were trying to make a carnal. I'm trying to suffer you, bro. Carnal, right? Hey, hey well, well, look, look, Paul said that... He uh, that that he also had to had to be carnal to make people understand too. Right. So so that's so, why I said you took me out of what's spiritual so I can understand. The exa exactly, right? bro. So my my question is, you said the mother of all things, the mother of what, all all sports or something like that. The the, the, uh, the Super Bowl is called the mother of all uh, mother of all games, right? Okay. But but does every game stem from the from the Super Bowl game? No. 
No, exactly, bro. So, 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 so all, so, so all, so all, so all is dealing with where it talks about the mother. It's just talking about how Babylon or America is just is just the greatest nation out of all nations, bro. So, can I ask you a question? So, I answered your question and I, and I understood your comparison that you were trying to. Uh huh. If we go strictly to the woman, Mount Zion, she's the woman, right? That's the bride that Christ is coming back for. Right? Well, well, actually, the bride that Christ is coming back for is the elect, right. 144,000. Which is Israel. Okay. I'm not going to go there because I got a different spin on that. However. Dang, we got no, a different no, no. spin on everything. Know, but, that's right. what I know. But, but here's the thing. The reason why I wanted to go there is because he's coming back for a bride, right? He's coming back for a church. He died for a church. Okay. He died for a church. Okay. He died for a woman, right? Okay. That woman was Mount Zion. Okay. Can we? Are we in agreement with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, what happened? Right? Oh. So, my question is, Okay. if, if the woman, it had to be a counterfeit. I don't understand where you're getting. There, so, there is no counterfeit so in the Bible, the thing. bro. I'm, Follow me now. Are you telling me that this woman in Revelation 17 is, is a spinoff Israel? It, no, it's a counterfeit. That's where the great war is. No, he, this, this follow me. This he, follow me. He, he, he's saying that Israel was like in, uh, as a woman and right. was that church. So he says that. Church. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. So he's saying that everything, uh, Satan has like an opposite side to everything that's he's righteous. So he said that the opposite side of. Israel being the church is the Vatican being that uh, oh that evil church yeah that woman, so he's saying he, they trying to replicate it that's all and, and that's the woman it, and that's sitting in front of seven you know. that's what Satan does yeah, he rain down so think about this this follow, this yeah. follow me this follow me do me a okay. favor okay. all right in, in, in Acts chapter two right when the Holy Spirit came down it came down like fire right mm -hmm. and that's in in Revelation chapter thirteen. He rained fire down as a miracle. Same exact thing. He tried to duplicate everything God did in Revelation. Now, Satan, the cup of the wine of her, her fornication, right? Is a indignation. That's the doctrine. Wine represents a doctrine. Okay, honest. Okay, okay. Now, okay, we agree on that. Yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. We agree now, on that. So, the same doctrine that they hold, they hold a. Uh, 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 what you call it? They hold the duplicate, you know. They're contrary. He has wine too. Okay. The Catholic Church has a doctrine that falls down on every uh, Protestant, Baptist, you know all John Wesley, you know all of them. They all came out of the Catholic Church. Every last one of them. John Wesley, uh name them all. You, you know um, Presbyterian, all of them. Oh. That's where they that's where they start from. So is the mother, so is the daughter. That's all. Listen, that's all their doctrine. Okay. That is that wine, that doctrine that they come out of. That's counterfeit. They counterfeiting what God is doing. Okay. Okay. I, I, I understand. I understand that they that they trying to counterfeit what God is doing. But bro, but bro, yeah. that's not what Revelation yeah. seventeen is saying, so bro. You saying Mother of Harley? Can we read it? Go ahead. Can we read it? Oh, listen. I'm here to work. Okay, 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 okay. You know, okay. You know we're gonna me, read. Go we're gonna read it. We're gonna we're gonna ask. We're gonna ask you to break it down. Okay. Revelation 17 and one. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come up hither. I will show you. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore uh -huh. that sitteth upon many waters. Many now, question: What are the many waters? I will have, go uh, into Revelation 21 and get many waters. The waters are the people. That's the waters. Well, the, the waters are people? Yeah, they, they are the people. They are nations, kindreds, and tongues. That's oh, okay, 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 so, okay. I, I don't need, the Holy Spirit right now is giving you okay, okay, what I need okay, to come okay, back. Okay, 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 okay. We jump down to verse 15, it says that. Yeah. Which, which you know, let me read it for confirmation. Yeah, it's good. All right, cool. verse 15, that's, 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 right? Okay, cool. Well, you would confirm all, right, all right, brother, all right, brother. All right. Revelation 17 and 15. And he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth are peoples, multitudes, and nations, and tongues. Yes. All right, cool. So now, verse two, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the and the and the inhabitants of the earth have have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Yes. Right now, the inhabitants of the earth has made drunk with the wine of her fornication. You know how strong the Catholic doctrine is. This is why this church right here and every other churches 
worshiping on Sunday because of her doctrine, because of the Catholic doctrine. That's where the well, well, is. well, well, brother, well, 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 brother, well, brother. Uh, let me ask you this: Go ahead. Would you say that the Seventh Day Adventists spring from them? And the Seventh Day Adventists <laughs> don't worship on a Sunday; they worship on a Saturday, bro. Wait, wait, so, so you, so you, so, so you can't use that, bro. No, I'm not saying the Seventh Day Adventists springs from them. I, I, I can't, I can't read it. And guess what? I'm still studying. I know all about her doctrine, uh, not her doctrine, but I, I know all about the Seventh Day Adventists. No, no, I'm not Seventh Day Adventists. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, but yeah, I know, but you talking about worshiping on I'm, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday when, when we're not right? all not all Christians worship on a Sunday, though, bro. That's what I'm saying. Not all of them do. But okay. At the same time, if they choose a Sabbath day, I can't say that that doctrine comes from the Catholic Church. They changed it. You already know they changed the, the last day to the first day. But that's the one. That's the all the kings, and we can find out we know who the kings is. Who's, so, okay, okay, cool. So, so you know, you know, okay, so who's the kings? Where are we at? So it's the queen, Queen Elizabeth. No, no, no. Wait I, a minute. Hold on, hold on. Uh, because I, I had to go search out this myself. This, this took this took a while for me because I didn't understand. I'm gonna tell you, I did not understand who the kings was. Okay. Okay, 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 cool, okay, okay, cool, okay, cool, let's say, okay, cool, let's say that, okay, let's follow your logic and say that, okay, this woman is dealing with, on the Vatican, you said it is, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, cool, now, let's jump down here now, we're gonna jump down to verse, we're gonna jump down to verse, uh, 16, right? Okay. Now it says, and the ten of horns... Which thou sawest upon the beast, these are he the whore. Who's now? Who's the ten horns? Ten kings. Who are they? So the, the ten kings. Oh, oh, okay. So now I need you to break down. Who's the ten kings and who's the beast? Okay, the, the ten kings. The only thing I can say about the ten kings is this, because I, it, it took me a while to get this. And you study it. Over there in New England. They still have things set up as of old. As the of old? Get, when, when, when I say as of old, mm -hmm. they don't switch every four years mm -hmm. like, like like presidents do. President is not a king. Uh, oh, no, wait a minute. I, could, I, I had to study this. I, I, you know, I, asked, I asked for guidance. What uh, does uh, king uh, mean? What does uh, king mean? Uh, king, king just simply means ruler. Yeah, but so no, a president is, is the ruler. How, in the book of kings, we know how kings were set up and established. Yeah, I understand that. So over there... A king doesn't leave a throne until he's dead, right? So that's that's the presentation of how a king is over there. And the only one who left the throne before he died was Solomon and David as far as the as far as the Who are these ten kings though? Huh? Who are these ten kings and the beasts? No. Who are the ten kings and the beasts? Okay. The beast we already know is a kingdom. Who's that beast? The beast is the Roman Empire. So the beast is the Roman Empire. And the Vatican and 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 a, and a whore is 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 the Vatican, which is the Roman Empire too. No, 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 no. And, the yo, bro, ain't the Vatican over there in Rome? Uh, I think so. The Vatican's over there in Rome. Yeah, so the beast. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm following. Okay, I'm following. Okay, I'm following. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Hold on, hold on. Fast check that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's fact check. And, and, oh, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Let's just fact check that real fast, bro. I'm, I'm following your logic, bro. I ain't saying nothing. Yeah. I'm following your logic. Okay. Following your, your logic, bro. The Vatican's over there in Rome. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I 144% believe that. That's where the woman that. sits at, in the kingdom. Okay, cool. Rome. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm. So the Vatican... <laughs> <laughs> so the whore is Rome. So, out, so, out. so the whore is Rome, and, and, and the beast is Rome, no, right? No, no, no. The whore is Vatican City. Okay. Vatican, and the church, the church. Which, which is that Rome? No, no. The woman sits in Rome. So okay. So the Vatican City. Okay. Right. Vatican itself, where the church sits. The okay. Is where is, is the, that's the kingdom that okay. the woman sits in. Okay. 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 But okay. Wait. But just to cut a long story short. It, it, it's let's, all, go, let's go to Revelation 13. No, 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 I want to stay here in 17. So, 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 just to cut a long story short, yeah. all this is taking place in Rome, though, right? Just to cut a long story short. No, not everything is taking place in Rome. Oh, 
Bro, how, that. bro? Bro, you're contradicting what you're saying. This don't seem clear. Bro, you're contradicting your own your own doctrine, bro. So Listen, bro, you just said that the beast the beast is Rome, right? Yes. Okay, boom. And this woman is sitting over there in Rome, right? Yes. Okay, so so this is all taking place in Rome then. Okay, yes. Okay, ahead. cool. Go okay, ahead. thank you, thank go you. Ahead. So bet. Finally, bro. Okay. So now continue on. It says, all right. Now, let's read it again. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, mm -hmm. okay, these shall hate the horns. Yes. So it says that the ten horns yes. and the beast is gonna hate the horn. So the beast is hating itself? They're all hating itself? No, that's what I asked you. I asked you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish, let me finish it. Okay. Shall make her desolate and naked and eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Yeah. So you tell so you telling me Rome is gonna set Rome on fire? That's what it's. That's, 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 what, that's what you're saying, by, bro. By your breakdown, that's by what you're saying. <laughs> bro, come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You gotta, you gotta concede on that. You know you cut, bro. You gotta concede on that. Bro. You cut, you concede on that come bro. on, bro. You said that wrong. <laughs> come on, bro. Bro, I, bro, I set him up. No, I, yeah. I set you bro, up. You gotta bro. Con if you don't concede on that, that's prideful. Yeah, now. come on, bro. You, you, nobody knows yo, all things. Yo, re, 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 re. Re, I mean, yeah. Reed, Reed, come on, Reed. Come on, you, Reed. You, you have to let you got, You got to hit the book. All right, man. all right, come bro. Back. It's not about the Next book. Sunday. Just, listen, wait a minute. All right, bro. I, I, explain not, yourself. That's not, that's explain not, yourself, let's bro. Let's go to Revelation 13. No, I want to stick in Revelation 17, no, no, bro. We go back there. No, we just gotta go to no, Revelation 13. no, no. We got to go there. Why? No, I want to stay here. Huh? You because need to, we got to talk to... about the beast that was wounded to death. And then we got to talk about the beef you, and how... You got to make that make sense, though, before before we go somewhere else. No, yeah, we're going bro, back I there. Mean, I know, but you, you got to make that make so, sense before you hop to another okay, scripture. So the whore itself is where it sits in the beast. Which it is sits, wrong. Yes, it sits in the kingdom, right? Which is wrong. Yes, the ten kings. The ten kings. Who are they? After, they they're the New England, and you're looking at... Uh, Great Britain, the king of Great Britain, the, 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 the queen, New England. You're looking at all those kings over there. Oh, 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 okay. So all the kings, so every, the so king every king, so every king and queen that New England had, those are the ten horns. Oh, it's not had. They, they are in position right now. Oh, they're in position. Oh, okay, oh, 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 okay. Guess what? Guess what? Watch this. Oh, I'm asking you. To, I'm asking you to, to make clear. Of it. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna even give you this. Okay. All those kings mm -hmm. come down to Vatican City and worship there. Okay, I'm gonna have to oh, fact check that. Have, that's facts. All right. That's facts. All okay. those kings come down. Now, of course, those kings turn their power over to Rome. You can read that in Revelation 21. You can read that they turn their power over to Rome. Okay. I'm following you. Now, once after they turn their power over to Rome, of course, Rome must want to mess up somewhere market beast and everything like that everything is not going to work out the way it is expected they're going to hate the beast they're going to hate rome they're going to come out and destroy it okay so now so now just to, just that just to get back to this now the whore mm -hmm. the whore is sitting over there in rome the right whore. and the beast and the beast is and the beast is what now the beast is a kingdom and and the kingdom and what's that and what's the and what's that kingdom, bro? So again, you have no, no, bro. What is what is the kingdom? I just qu quantify it and qualify it. Concise answer. It is a beast. It is Rome, the Roman Empire. And it's and it's Roman. Okay. It's Roman okay. Empire. Bet. And now, do we do we agree that that the Vatican is in Rome? Yes. Okay. So according to Revelation 17, mm -hmm. it says that the beast is going to hate the whore. How is Rome? Going to hate it, hate hate itself and burn itself with fire. How? Can you please explain so that? We have to go to Revelation 13. To Why do we have? Do we because, have to go to Revelation 13 to because, answer this. Because it, it, it talks about in Revelation. Let's read it. Revelation 13. Let's now, go now, to it. now. Yeah, when you let's say, let's go hold on. To it. Okay, 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 fine. There we go. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna that's follow you. I'm, I'm gonna follow brother. you. I'm gonna follow you. Yeah, no, so, me. so you want me to wear read where it says and it, and it was wounded to death? No. Let's start at the beginning because you're going to read two beasts in yes, Revelation 13. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, yes you we are. are. Yes, you're you going are. to read two beasts. And oh, we yes, know we this one. And, and one of those beasts is United States. Okay, 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 okay. I, okay, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
Is the first beast the U.S. or the, or the second beast? The beast that's wounded to death is the Roman Empire. Which, are you talking about the modern day Roman Empire or the ancient Roman Empire? Okay. The beast that's wounded to death is the Roman Empire. Which one though? The ancient one or the new one? The beast that resurrected the Roman Empire is the United States. Okay, okay, so, okay, but I'm, okay, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm okay, so it has to be the ancient Roman Empire then. Yes. And okay. you know what the resurrection is? Christ got resurrected. Okay, okay, okay. And you know what they're doing? Okay. They're counterfeiting Christ. Okay, okay. So how does that tie into Revelation 17? How is it does. How? I'm asking you how. Let's read it. All right. <laughs> Revelation read. 13 and 1. The power is in the book. Okay, Revelation 13 and 1. 13 and 1. Go okay, ahead. and I stood upon the sand of the sea. All we know what the sand of the sea is, don't we? <laughs> and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, uh -huh. having seven hands, having seven heads and ten horns. That's what you was talking about. And upon his and horns, Revelation 17, oh, 21. Go ahead. And upon his heads, and upon his horns, ten crowns, and his heads, the name of blasphemy. Mm -hmm. And the beast which I saw was like a a leopard. Damn. My bad, bro. You good. You good. You good. This is man. It's all love. Everything. I do. It's not about the spirit of entrapment. I ain't trying to get over, under. No, all right. You, under, you and you sense that. All you right. Sense that. And the beast was. You should. Okay. Yeah. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him power and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all and all the world wondered after the beast. Want to keep going? Hey, I ain't trying to read the whole chapter, bro. Yeah, the whole chapter ain't nothing wrong with it. No, nah, I ain't trying. Come on, bro. I ain't trying to read yeah. All right, bro. All right, bro. Hey just, hey, 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 just give me a summary of what you're trying to say in Revelation 13. Uh, I'm just give me, I'm just give me, just give me a, brief, a brief summary. So if I'm wrong, I, I'll say this. If I'm wrong, I'll go back and I'll view it the way that you see it. But do me a favor. Just take your time and view it the way I see it. All right. And guess what? You may see something, you may not see something. Sometimes, I'm going to tell you, realistically, a lot of things that's taught in the church I go to, sometimes can be wrong. But I got to stand up and uphold what I feel like is wrong in my book. And I do that anywhere I go. I don't just go with the masses. I don't just go with the people. The scripture says, study the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And so, just, just go back and look at it. It's, it's everything that is done in Revelations is a counterfeit of what Christ is doing. That's why he got just with the resurrection. He resurrected the same as Christ was resurrected. One resurrection was a true resurrection and one was a false resurrection. One fire came down out of heaven as the Holy Spirit. The other one came out as a false. Everything you're going to find out is duplicate. Even the mark of the beast. Where is the mark of the beast at? On the forehead and the hand. Where is God's mark at? On the forehead and the hand. Where's the mark of the beast uh, to you? Uh, what, 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 in Revelation 13. What's the mark of the beast to you? Well, this way, the mark to me, the forehead, you know, in the scriptures going on with that. It, 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 it's your mindset. So is doctrine. It is the doctrine. But it's the mindset, and the, the, the hand is your works. Is your works. And that's in part. That's in part. That's Damn, in bro, part. you're killing me, man. No, yeah, it's I mean, that's killing just, me, bro. That's in part. So you're what is God's mark? Killing me, bro. Ain't, ain't God marking with his forehead? It's the Holy Spirit, man. Right here. So, look, look, I, uh, I, so you don't believe that the mark of the beast is something physical? It, may, it, 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 it can turn into something physical. So, the, so look, I, I'm gonna explain to you, right? Okay. So if you go to Ezekiel 9 and 4, right? Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 9 and 4 explains that how that mark from the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. right, is the Holy Spirit. It's something spiritual, right. right? So we know that Esau, right, is a carnal man and he's in opposition, right, to everything that the Heavenly Father is. That's what we say about Revelation. And, and you said that same thing, right? Yeah. So it was a false church. You said it was a so-called false church because Satan wanted to devise something that was in opposition to God, right? That's the Most High. So. And, and, no, that's that's your breakdown, not mine. But I, I'm just I'm just making it uh, an agree. So the point is, right? Mm -hmm. That carnal mark, right? If you go into the word for mark, right, is karagma, right? Which means an incision in the flesh, right? So 
Esau, since he's a carnal person, right? He's a carnal man. He's going to make a carnal mark to seem as if he is the most high. So that way he can have control over all the masses and brand us as his own cattle. You see what I'm saying? So that mark is actually something physical, which is the mark of the beast. And we can see that almost being exemplified in, t in modern day time with this so-called shot, right? And, 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 which is gonna uh, eventually turn into door to door, right? And then some type of, uh, uh, you know, micro, you know, I don't want to say the word because they take videos down, but the, that's the point. You yeah, we call, yeah, we call it the grain of rice. The grain of rice. They're going to try to implement some type of grain of rice in your hand and then your forehead. And you see that exemplified. You have like an iPhone. Hey, or, man, fuck it, bro. The chip. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's the chip, chip, bro. Yeah. It's the chip. It's the chip. And guess what? I'm not this right. all, all I'm doing is, is to, to, to the basics because every generation, 20 years, 40 years, 50 mm. years, 100 years, uh -huh. always look for it in their day. Right. And you, you know that, but now, now this, this follow me, man. Everybody belongs to Satan who has not accepted Christ. Okay. That's his mark. They are marked. You know why? Because they're called the walking dead. Mm. If they die, they belong to him. They go into hell, right? Uh, <laughs> so just follow me now. So, Guess what? Man, I'm, not, bro, that's I'm still we, not taking away from what you're saying. I'm still not. Well, we don't we don't necessarily agree on hell neither, bro. Right, exactly. Well, hell is we, a place where you go to until because hell has to be now wait a minute. Wait a minute. So we know it's two parts. Those two parts. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> Come on now. Uh, yeah, bro, you're in Islam, but you're you're, you're still you're, Christian. You're still a Christian church, bro. Oh, right, right. right. Everything that I say, right? One for them. No, right. Right. Hold, hold fast now. Swinging all about. You know, scripture. <laughs> hold fast. I'm done with you, bro. Hold fast, prove all things that which is good. We know that. We talk, we talk about Gehenna, where the place, you know, that's understand. But I'm talking about in the scripture. We know that hell is cast into the lake of fire. So how the hell is, is hell a place? Well, hold on. You said how is it in place? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, if lake of fire is supposed to be, it's, it's supposed to be hell, right? Right. No, hold on. I never said that. Okay, okay, okay. You mentioned it. Okay, my bad, my bad. Okay, my bad, my bad. All right, my bad. Wait a minute. I never said that. All right, my bad. I mean, but you put that on me, though. Okay, my, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, uh, you said, you know, you put me in the crib. Okay, okay my fault, my fault, my fault. Oh, so man, what's hell? So what's hell? I don't get that a lot. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so what's hell, bro? So what's hell? So hell. Well, first of all, are hey, you living around here? It doesn't matter. Yeah, bro, nothing matters to this guy, <laughs> no, bro. No, don't like. Nothing matters to this guy, matters. man. I'm just asking, bro. We ain't about to matters. stalk you, bro. I'm not stalking you, no, bro. I know, I know that, but only I thing, live around here, bro, to make you yeah. feel better. Only thing that matters is the price or not, right? right <laughs> Everything else. What's your name? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Tyree. And, and listen, it don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> That's his name. Tyree. It don't matter. It's his name. No, and, and it's truly a pleasure to be with you guys. Okay, but bro, I'm just, I'm just wondering, bro, because maybe we can link up and build. That's what I'm asking. I ain't, I ain't got no problem. With that. Okay, so do you live in our year or night? I live maybe about close to Shelton Hill Mall. That's oh, okay, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's It just surprises me how many images like you're around and we don't yeah, know. Facts, you understand? Facts. I mean, that's this. That's the well, you well, you know, it's you were you were you were you were you were you were a Hebrew Christian light, but you know. <laughs> well, I mean, this it, it is a lot, but it, it is the thing. Everything that I say out my mouth has to align with scripture. I it does. can't say nothing. Show. Sure. I can't say nothing that don't align with scripture at right. all. Uh, All right, so hey, 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 bro, you know what I'm saying, hey, look, I, 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 go. yeah, no, I, no, well, we're not going to go. I just want to, I just want to uh, continue on with like a, a different lesson, you know, whatnot. You know, it was really not good. So like, right, right. So, yeah, so, yeah. so are you roofing right now? Or, like, you want a job uh, right now? I gotta go to Jersey to get a job, to finish a little job. Oh, alright. I'm, I'm always so. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I, um, do you do anything else except roofing? Like, do you do anything else? Not really, anything else? I, I mean, I do you brick work. Um. Chimney repair, but vinyl siding. Okay. Like oh, all right, bro. You know, you know, man, you want to change numbers? Like I said, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I said, bro, I'm in the carpentry field myself. Okay. I start, I, I start work Monday. I just left school. Maybe you want to, you know, show me some things and yeah, things like that. Yeah, bro. Oh, bro. Can you cut grass too? I need my grass cut. <laughs> no, I don't cut grass. It's, uh, I, I got guys with it. Oh, you do? Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, yeah, if you know somebody, yeah, please, bro, yeah. share. Please share with us. Yeah. My joint, Sky High. I need to just grab one of those weed waggers. No, forget that. That's why I got people. That's why I got people to do it. I'm too busy for that. All right, bro. Hope you're Pleasure, y'all. You know, maybe I'll say uh, one of these days y'all come to my church. No. <laughs> it's like a building? Uh, it is a building. What, what, what is it? It's, uh, is it the Shalom? Temple Shalom? Nope, you go to Temple Shalom? Oh, okay. Okay, that ain't me, yeah. uh, okay I, I used to go there when so, I first came in. The same way you're positioning yourself. Uh, the same way my church is set up. Oh, all right. The way y'all can stand up. Y'all can disagree. Oh, like they, they come out on the highways and byways? Nope. No, so it's like it is a physical building. It's a physical building. Okay, where is that? Down 21st and Nicholas. 21st and what? Nicholas? 21st and Nicholas. Yeah. Nicholas? Yeah. What's the name of it? Where is that? It's Church of the Living God, Pillar and Ground of the Sea. Oh. oh okay. 21st. So, where, 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 where's it at? Like, like in the city? Where's that in the city? Cecil B. Moore. Oh, Broad and Cecil B. Moore. Oh, okay. Like 21st and Cecil B. Moore. Oh. Down to the oh, and it's yours? Like you own the building? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. The church from there, over 100 people. Oh. Guess what? As Israelites. Oh wow, for real? For hundred yeah, years? And a prophet set it up. Mm. Really? And, and they all know that they're Israelites? And that Oh wow, that's Israelites. crazy. Yeah. And, I'm, and I'm wait a minute, I'm going back over a hundred years. Yeah, over a hundred years? Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. And the person who set it up is Prophet F. S. Cherry. F at who? F. S. Cherry. F. S. Cherry? Yeah. Like cherry, like the fruit? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, and he set it up in nineteen. All right, all right. 19 so, something, we got to uh, check it out, bro. Yeah, definitely. You check it out. Uh, you know, all right, brother. Come by. Bring your, bring your book on the Sabbath day. We uh, work from sundown to sundown. We start on Friday night. Friday, Saturday. Sundown, and then we're in church all day into the sundown. Yeah. All right. You know, all right, so come bro. check us out. All right, bro. Hey, look, did you see us and you and you just parked in? No, I, was, I wanted to go to uh, what's the name, but I, I didn't got fed already. Oh yeah, huh? yeah, we tried. You, yeah, we fed you with the true word. All right. right. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. I, I can accept that, man. Right. But, but listen, if you get a chance to ch check out, just check out what I'm saying. Just look at it. I have to do that sometimes. I gotta humble myself to a certain extent to look at other people's views mm -hmm. and how they see it. Right. And then I match it up with scripture to see if it's in that person. Sometimes I have to do that. All right. In order to see. So check that out. All right, bro. Woman, right? All right, bro. Peace and love to you. All right, bro. Shalom. Shalom. I'm, I'm, what, what got me curious about it is that you get 100 years of Israelites. Yeah, 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 this is uh, Romans 10 and 2, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most right, high, right, right. but not according to knowledge. Right. Break it down, bro. God, yeah, so like, that's our people, man, like you see with the brother, yeah, he, he, he obviously had a zeal for the yeah, heavenly father. A high one, too. A high one, you know what I'm saying? He did not want to give up. But it wasn't according to knowledge. And, right. you know, you see the brother didn't have, a, you know, correct breakdowns on certain things. You know, so it's just, that's our people, man. That's why we're out here to teach our people, right? So that way they can truly learn the Heavenly Father through his word, right? So that way he can see his teachers, learn his word, and come to the correct doctrine. Right, bro. Because, look, bro, he was, bro, bro, he yeah. was getting smashed on everything, yes. bro. Yeah, he ain't want to give up, though. And, but, you know, it's crazy, bro. That's why, hey, brothers, man, when y'all when dealing with somebody, Somehow you gotta let them talk, like, right, bro. Right, right. He was talking himself into a ditch, especially with Northern Kingdom. Tell him the worst buckle bird. Right. You cut yourself, bro. Fact. Then you told him some. The Mexicans they come over here, they work together. The Jamaicans do the same thing. Fact. The Haitians does the same thing, man. Right, right. I know this one Haitian, right, bro. And I and and uh, uh damn, and he he I think he was 28, 28 when I had met him. Hey, hey, you know who I'm talking about, Levi, oh, okay, where Levi, I worked yeah. at Amazon right, with, right, right, right. bro. He still live with his mom and aunt, man. Mm, they work together. The, the, bro, the Haitians, they work together, man. Right. We see that. So so, and so by default, according to your logic, it means that they're not Israelites. Right. Yeah, it's just mainly Judah, for real, for real, that don't really work together a lot. So I guess Judah, Judah, I guess. It's the only Israelite. Judah is the only. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, come on, man. Judah, Judah is the only Israelite, according to him, man. Twelve tribes of Judah. Yeah, yeah the twelve tribes of Judah, right. Exactly, exactly. Just, just like what Kanye West said. Exactly, bro. But yeah, man. But you know, Jake, man, you gotta, uh, you gotta get it. You gotta, you, you gotta get it together, bro.
we saw a blacks, Latino, Native American, American, you gotta get it together. Right. right? And then on top of that, you know, you know, he was switching up what he was saying about Babylon too. Hey, yeah. and, and let's go back to Babylon. Because right. what he said was, let's read it. This guy's crazy. Revelation 17 and verse 16. Cause I thought of it, man. The Lord and the Lord put in my mind, okay, walking down to 16. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 16 and the 10 horns which he said the 10 horns are the 10 kings Thing. of England yeah New England <laughs> that, that thou saws upon the beast right. which the beast according to him right. is uh is, is Rome, Rome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the whore is dealing with the Vatican. um the Vatican which the Vatican is in Rome right. the whore is is the whore seat the whore, the whore is sitting in uh in Rome right, right, which right. is the Vatican right. that saws upon the beast these shall hate the whore so the beast that is a kingdom that's 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 Rome, and the whore is in Rome. Right. So the beast, which is Rome, is going to hate Rome. Then it says, "Shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire." Mm. So the beast is going to burn down Rome, right. according to him. Right. Why is Rome going to burn down Rome? That doesn't make any type of sense, bro. That doesn't make any time. At least, at least with our doctrine, we teach. Well, not even our doctrine. It's the Bible. Right. It's 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 uh it's um the Most High doctrine. Right. At least we say, um, uh, America's allies. It would have made more sense if he said, yeah, Rome's allies are going to turn on Rome. Mm -hmm. But no, he said Rome is going to turn on Rome. Rome. Right. That doesn't make, bro. Like that uh, doesn't make any sense, bro. Right. Whatsoever. He doesn't know the scriptures, bro. Right. No, he doesn't know the scriptures. But like uh, Romans ten and two says, he got the zeal, but not according to knowledge. This uh, about the Romans. Go to the next chapter. And we, and we are gonna close out soon. About to come up on two hours. This book of Romans chapter eleven verse seven. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah, bro, and he's and he's and he's clearly blinded, bro. Right now, now, now he knows that he he knows that he's he's an Israelite, right. but he's still wrestling with that Christian doctrine, bro. Listen, bro, you have to get all those impurities purged out of you. Right. What did um the Lord said to N Nicodemus that you got to be born again? Right, right, right. And a brother's not born again. Right. And, and you can see it, bro. Yeah. You can see it, but he's still, you know, what's going on, bro? And hey, you're an Israelite, bro. Huh? You're an Israelite. Okay. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, bro. All right, thank you, bro. You already know. Prince of God. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. He was born again. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. He wasn't born again. And, and, and you can tell, bro. He got right. that coon, right, right. you know, coon like spirit. Right. Probably think everybody can be saved. God love everybody. The Gentiles can be grafted in. Yeah. You know, that. That type of change. Uh, we got to be some kind. Yeah, kind. <clears throat> Second Corinthians four and three. But if our gospel be hid, mm. it is hid to them that are lost. Right. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Which the gospel dealing with the good news. Which you no, know, you know, he's lost, bro. He's right. lost. Right. Cause like I said, which we really, when we really dive into gospel, Isaiah sixty one is the gospel. And the nations going, going into slavery, being in servitude of the nation of Israel. He probably objects to that. He probably objects to that. Oh, those are the ones that. Don't want to uh, get down with Israel. No, no, no. Because when you read Isaiah 60, it says those that don't want to get down with Israel, they're going to die. Right, right. They're going to die. Not uh, being slaves. They're going to die. They're going right. to perish. Right. Go ahead. Gone. Verse 4. Yep. It says, In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them right. which believe not. That's right. Blind the minds of them which believe not. And him, he, he's still blinded by, right. by the God of this world. Because he's still, play, like, his mind is playing tug of war between being a Christian. And being an Israelite, so he just said, you know what? I'm gonna just combine the both. Right. No, man, you can't uh, combine both, man. And I felt me go ahead and get this in Ephesians. You can't combine the both, man. Sirach, the fifth chapter says, "Went on not with every wind." Right. This uh, book of Ephesians, chapter four, and verse fourteen, it says that we has. What's up, bro? All uh, right, thanks, bro. It says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. And that's, and that's that brother, man. Right, right, right. Tossed to and fro, bro. Uh -huh. 
with every wind of doctrine. It says, by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait and wait to deceive, and he is deceived. Right. Ultimately, when you read uh, Job 12 and uh, 16, the deceived and the deceiver are his. Right. right, and he's clearly deceived, man. And he's still up, up under that doctrine of Christianity. But you know, Lord willing, the brother gets it together yeah. before uh, I'm, I'm before this place falls. Because right. this place is about to fall, man. That's right. This place is about to fall. And you so-called blacks, Latinos, you got you got to repent. Go ahead, get that an axe. <sighs> got to repent before the heavenly Father come back and make his return. Because right. because we can see, bro, like. You know, by the, a chain of events that's happening in America, this place doesn't have much more longer. This book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted. Now, when you read uh, Psalms 19 and verse 7, it says, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So that's what converts, uh, converts the soul. These holy scriptures. When you read Psalms 119, man, let me go ahead and get that. Let's look at Psalms chapter 119. And verse and verse uh and verse 9. Okay. Psalms 119 and 9. Where all shall a young men cleanse his way by taking heed thereto. According to thy words, you see that. So the word is what is, is what cleanses you. That's what cleanses you. This word, that's what converts you. And our people, they're converted to the lifestyle of America, man. Right. And we see it. See it with these uh, with these puppets like uh, Megan Stallion, uh, Drake. Um, we got uh, Cardi B. Right. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, all of them. Our people was converted to the way of the Greeks, like you read in Second Maccabees four and fifteen. Right? Which you need to be converted to the ways of the Mosai, man. The Mosai got Yahweh. Matter of fact, uh, hold Jeremiah uh, uh, 6 and 16. Right, we finish this off. Acts 3 and 19, it says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. For the times of refreshing shall come for the presence of the Lord. That's right. The times of refreshing. The times of the Heavenly Father. So, so, so repent so that when uh, your house I come back, you can be found blameless. Go ahead, bro. God, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path. Right, and ask for the old path. Which, what is the old path? These scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. These scriptures are the old path. Right. Which, you know, and that's what Jake say. Well, yeah. oh, that was back in the biblical days, right. old days. Well, guess right. what? True. And guess what? Yeah. The Bible is past, present, and future, man. Right. Go ahead. Where is the good way? See that? Where is the good way? This is the good way, bro. Right. This is the best way. Right. Go ahead. And walk therein. And walk therein. Now, when it says walk therein, now it's not talking about really like, you know, walking in the Bible. Walking on the Bible means practicing it. Right. Like James went, oh, like you say, walk the walk. Right, 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 you gotta right. walk the walk. Go ahead. Uh, and walk therein, and you shall find rest for your soul. And don't you want rest? Right. The curse says that we won't have no rest. Right. Why? Because we didn't follow the law, statutes, and uh, commandments. Right. Uh, you. You have anything else? Oh, no, no, that's it. it. Yeah, no, that's it. Okay, Khan. Well, with that, man, we're going to say, Ho, Ho, Lo, Yahweh, Shimi, Yahweh, Shah, and death to America, man. Death to America.